Why, good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron. What's your name? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mark. It's absolutely a pleasure indeed. How was your Wednesday? Well, if there is anybody named Mark out there, I hope you like cocktails and spooky situations. Spooky, because there's a knife on screen. And it's October, and Halloween is like in a couple of weeks. I don't know. They... Let's start today off asking ourselves how work was, asking ourselves how school was, asking ourselves how our day was. Maybe you aren't in school, maybe you aren't in work, but really, that doesn't matter. How are you right now? I've been listening to a book on Audible about, like, unconscious biases and the internal instinctual system versus the system of the ego with which we present ourselves to the modern day world. And it's got me questioning how I feel right now and how it may influence the future. But beside from the point, I'm playing Graveyard Keeper today, as I have been for about the past month. I'm I'm having a good time with this game. If you can't clearly tell, it's, a, it's up there. We'll get to that in a little bit. I have been doing a little thinking about how I want to conduct things going forward, thinking about changing up the schedule a little bit, changing up the overlay and stuff a little bit. Room for improvement. And one of the rooms for improvements is that I have completely fallen out of my mixological hobby. I love to mix cocktails and stuff, and I've been sifting through my books more recently than usual because I'm trying to find new things that I can get myself excited for on a Wednesday. A Wednesday like today, where I plan to stream to do, and honestly, it, feel, it feels almost more worth my while if I pack in a game and a cocktail and fun-loving social interaction with people whose faces I can't see if I pack that all into a single night, or potentially multiple nights in a week. But that's that's my intro. Um, I was just recently watching a video on YouTube from a, one, a beautiful man named Greg, who does a YouTube show called How to Drink, and he's a big, he's a big tiki guy. Um, he was not doing drinks on tiki today, he was doing drinks inspired from the D&D live streaming show called Critical Role, and none of them had anything to do with tiki drinks, except for one, technically speaking. But anyway, it inspired me, I wanted to make See if I can find a tiki drink in my collection, and as it turns out, I was able to grab the proper juice and make the proper preparations to actually make something from this book! One of the problems that I tend to have anytime I try to make a cocktail, especially if it's a complicated one, is the proper prep work. And I want to try to do the proper prep work, and oftentimes I will either do too much prep or significantly not enough. For example, I have at least three containers of grenadine in my fridge because of way too much preparation, and I had, had, no orgeau or honey syrup in my fridge because of a severe lack of preparation. But yes, excuse me, it's, it's gonna be a fun time. It's gonna be a very fun time. I'm taking my inspiration from a book called Tiki Drinks by Nicole Weston and Robert Sharp. I, it's appeared on here before, I've made a couple of cocktails from it, I think. I don't know, I see a bunch of um, tiny little, tiny little like colored bookmarks in there, which would seem to imply that I've been through this book before and have marked them off to procure proper garnish and ingredients for things going forward. Today, totally inappropriate, totally inappropriate, not inappropriate, in appropriateness for Spooktober, is a drink called the Fog Cutter. Why is it appropriate? Let, let me walk you through my thinking. You're walking along the streets on Halloween night, and you're in your costume, but you're all alone. You've got about a half empty or half full basket of candy already, shaped like a pumpkin, not the orange pumpkin. You don't go that way. You go with the purple pumpkin because you know, either A, you didn't have a choice and it's all that you had in your parents' basement, or you're just that kind of bitch, in which case, nice but anyway you're walking along the streets or the sidewalk maybe you're in the street maybe you live on that kind of edge but you are attempting to approach that last house of the night or perhaps the midway house of the night being that your candy thing is half full why wouldn't you continue afterward let's just say it's the last house of the night and you know this house gives a shit ton of candy and you know that that house is gonna fill you all the way up to the top of that purple pumpkin basket that you've got and you know you were looking forward to what's in that i'm, t I'm thinking like Butterfingers, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I don't know, maybe you're allergic to peanut butter. Maybe you're just not into the candy craze. Maybe you've got your entire purple pumpkin filled up with vegetables and fruits so far because that's just the kind of neighborhood you live in. Or maybe you just live on a farm and you just got acres and acres of produce that you can just walk up to and trick or treat at because 
It's not like a it's not like a tree is gonna not open the door for you. It's not like a tree is not going. It's not like a, a cornfield is not going to leave candy on the doorstep, which is obviously what you're supposed to do on Halloween. In which case, if you don't, then you're just like the saddest people in the neighborhood because you're just like I don't play with the kids. I don't I don't do that kind of stuff because I don't believe in Halloween. I don't believe in candy. I don't want kids coming and knocking on my door. Well, kids are knocking on your door anyway, but the cornfields don't care. Not of the trees. Uh, so you're making your way towards this house. I haven't even gotten to the point of it yet. You're making your way towards this house, and all of a sudden, the music goes dark. Maybe you were listening to music. Do you have an earbud in? I've got headphones on. I usually have an earbud in during this time of the day. Why do I even have headphones on? I'm not even listening to the music. Doesn't this look cool now? It feels so casual anymore. This explanation is is making you further confused. That's okay. That's okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, in any case, maybe you're listening to music, but at this point, your Bluetooth just cuts. Your headphones completely run out of battery. Now it's totally silent. It's silent, you're alone, your bucket of, your purple bucket of candy or vegetables or fruits are half full, and you're making your way to that last house, and then the mood just sets in. The fog starts to fall down to the road. You can see it in front of you, but you can't see the street in front of you. You can see the fog, but you can't see the street. You can't even see your feet. You can barely see your hands as you put them this far away from your face. Well, that fog is spooky. So you're gonna need yourself a fog cutter. Can you see that? Fog cutter. We cut through the fog of October. It's spooky. And it brings about an incredible sense of ambiance. But we're cutting through that fog. It's apparently a tiki drink with the description as follows. While many tiki drinks use just one type of spirit as a base, the fog cutter uses three, rum, bourbon, and gin. Each element lends something unique to the cocktail, and you end up with a drink that has a hint of molasses, a bit of vanilla, and some refreshing aromatics along with tropical fruit flavors. We recommend using a London Dry Gin, which will have a bold enough flavor profile to come through in the finished drink. Oh, thank God! Excuse me, I was double checking to make sure that I used a London Dry Gin. I usually do not have a London Dry Gin, but it seems that the one with the top hat is a London Dry Gin. The fog cutter is created with the following ingredients in mind. Rum, bourbon, gin, orange juice, pineapple juice, lime juice, or jo, which we will explain later in case you're not privy to what that is, and honey syrup, which if you're not privy to the information is just honey and water boiled together to make the honey more easily pourable. That, that doesn't require a very long explanation. Although, it took me a while to get there. And that's how you create the fog cutter. Uh, and it's also got some cool little garnish stuff going on that I'm gonna try giving a shot. I attempted to prepare myself better for this particular cocktail today, uh, more so than I would in in, um, in previous videos. I, I'll admit it, I'll admit, my, my garnish game has been super duper low. And to be perfectly honest, if my garnish game ain't strong, the rest of my game ain't strong. That is indeed the weakest link in my mixing game, so to speak. Uh, and also, see in a moment, I'm extremely prepared. I have full confidence that I will not even have to walk off screen to make this cocktail, because I think, I think, I think, I've got everything. So let's begin. I need a cocktail shaker, and I'm gonna put some ice in it, and then I'm gonna do the shaky shakes after I put all the ingredients into the cocktail shaker. But wait, I'm not going off screen at all. You were not privy to the information that I got. Actually, you were privy to the information that I have a cooler now but you were not privy to the fact that I was sitting on top of it. To which I will now take out a chilled bottom half of a shaker and a chilled, completely ice filled. Can you hear that? There's ice in there, baby, in, uh, in this one. And it's also apparently got ice on it. It's so cold in there, it froze. And I am so excited about that. I also have, well, I have other ingredients in here, but we'll get to that eventually. I need, I'm now sitting on an open, cooler. My, my accommodations are not very, very good, and my legs are very tired in addition to all of the bike riding that I do and running every once in a while, but alas, that's why we drink the cocktail. To make ourselves feel under the influence of alcohol, which has a variety of different types of psychological, physical, and metaphysical effects on various different types of people. For me, it's, it just kind of gets me into the zone. Or can. Unlike, unlike other, uh, vices of human nature. I need one and a half ounces of aged rum. I don't particularly have anything that is aged, but the the description says notes of molasses. It uses uh, notes of vanilla 
And this is the closest thing I had to, you know what? You know, I'm gonna have to go off camera. I read the, I read the description and it says molasses. It says vanilla. And to be perfectly honest, my three star over here is just not gonna give me that. This is gonna give like funky banana notes and maybe, but, but no like, no barrel notes like vanilla and stuff. I gotta go with the dark rum. So, goofy. I'm gonna go do this real quick. As quick as I possibly can. I jump up on top of my counter to grab the rum. Oh my God, he's got it and he's back in record time. It was like two seconds. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I'm gonna go with Myers Dark Rum. I know for a fact this tastes like molasses because I put it on my tongue before and it tastes like molasses. So I'm gonna put my molassesness in it. I need one and a half ounces of that. One and a half ounces of my Myers Dark Rum. Put it in a shaker. Easy. Easy, easy. See, I'm getting to a point I mean, I guess I kind of always have been at a point. Nah, not really. Like, I feel like the point you get to when you feel like you've kind of become more of a, like, well-versed in your hobby or area of study is when you can be like, hmm, I bet I could exchange this with this or fill out the instructions of the recipe that doesn't specifically call out with something that you know of. Like, for example, I was like, oh, but it says aged rum. I don't have aged rum, but I do have something that tastes like molasses, so I'm gonna go for that. And I feel relatively confident in that. And that's like, that's a point that I never thought that I would get to. I need three quarters of an ounce of bourbon. I don't have any labeled bourbons left in my collection, but I did pick up this pretty kick-ass decanter that I filled up with not only the only recognizable bourbon that I had because the container was labeled correctly, Old Granddad, but also two other bottles that I'm pretty sure had bourbon in it. At least that's what the container said, but I have no way of being for sure that the containers actually properly labeled the liquid that was on the inside. So let's just call this bourbon in the decanter. I don't know what's in it, but it's it's probably bourbon. Yeah, it's bourbon. And I need three quarters of an ounce of that. So let's go with it. Mm -hmm. This is uncomfortable for. My hand's gonna start shaking because I don't have a lot of upper body strength. Oh, ah, it's so shaky, but it is three quarters of an ounce. And I think that's doing okay. Okay, artichokey. Okie dokie, artichokey. Um, and I need half an ounce of gin. I got brokers. It's the only London dry gin I have. I have an American dry gin and a London dry gin. That's, that's all I got, really. And uh, that's okay. That's okay. And I'll put that in my glass. I can see it. I can see the fog collecting on the top of the shaker. I can see it. And it's also starting to chill up a bit, which is great. I also need an ounce of orange juice, which... I'm going to very carefully pull out of my butt. Just kidding. It's in the cooler that I am sitting on, which is currently open. I'm going to give it a nice shake. You may recognize this as the orange juice that I bought last week. I don't drink a lot of orange juice. It really just... Ah! Juice. Okay, so I was sitting on my cooler and it started to tip over. So I'm going to close the cooler. So I don't make that mistake again. I knew something like that was going to happen. But let's shake and pretend that didn't happen. And then... Pour an ounce of that into my cocktail shaker because back to the show. <laughs> That's an ounce. Put it in my shaker. I also need an ounce of pineapple juice. I get my pineapple straight from the pineapple that's shaped like a can. Or rather, it's a can shaped like a pineapple, which I'm also going to very slyly attempt to reach into the cooler behind me to grab... And, and cheat a little. I can see. Yeah, I found it. I found my pineapple juice. It's Dole, because I'm still working on the same six pack of Dole pineapple juice that I've had for a while. Is there an expiration date on here? Chill and shake well before serving. Hey, that's actually going to remind me to shake it this time. I usually don't. Thank you, Dole, for providing proper instructions. I, for one, never seem to remember, but I need an ounce of that. What's. How does this. Does this have a satisfying, like, when it when it pops open? Let's, let's see. Oh, yeah. It's not as satisfying as a nice, cool, refreshing Coca-Cola, or Pepsi-Cola, or RC-Cola, or uh, Sam's Club Cola, or whatever type of cola that you buy at your local store. I need an ounce of that. Oh, see, that's, that's, a nice, that's a nice pineapple. That's a nice pineapple. And now, I should really get a container to put all the excess pineapple juice into so it doesn't go to waste, because, like, I don't... I'm not going to drink this. More developments on that potentially later in the video. I'll put that over by my controller. It may inspire me later. 
I also need an ounce of lime juice. And lo and behold, I get my limes from the juice. Let's shack. No, let's not shack, actually. <laughs> Anna, no, please. Please, let's not. I'm gonna cut my lime, as I do. Um, on here, the prince, the prince is long dead. This is the prince's, let's say, fourth generation after the fact. So I'm gonna squeeze myself an entire ounce from hopefully a single lime, but just in case, just in case, let's go just in case, I have a second lime on standby. Oh, is that a clip of me screaming? <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad somebody was able to hear that. An ounce of lamb juice. We put the lamb in the pineapple and it's the wrong song. Yes, yeah, squeezy squeeze. I'm also a little, I, I'll admit, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little hot in here. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I had, I had a carpenter over at my place for the past couple days while my fiance was gone because I was trying to get it on and get a little action while she was gone. Just kidding, he was fixing the water damage in my bathroom that has been there for months now. Um, but apparently the landlords are really wise enough. They're just deciding to put a door stop in. They made my, they made my bathroom look all nice. They're apparently replacing broken glass that's been over top of the front door of our apartment that's apparently been there the entire time. And I, frankly, just never noticed. That's great. You know actually what I'm gonna do? Because I don't feel like sweating that actively on camera, I'm gonna turn the air on. Just a little flick of the switch. <laughs> That's two times I've lied to you today. I told myself I wouldn't go off screen once, and lo and behold, I've done it twice. And for that, I ask for your humble forgiveness. And now that you have most definitely given me the forgiveness that I so asked for, I'm gonna pour my ounce of lime juice into my shaker. My shaker! And I also need a half an ounce of orgeau and an, an additional quarter ounce of honey syrup. Orgeau is an almond-based concoction, including that that is I had I created from a recipe in this book that calls for six ounces of almond milk. Not like from an actual almond. Apparently you could just go to the store, buy your almond milk, and make orgeau from it, which I didn't think that you were legally allowed to do. But I did it, and I think it'll work just fine. Six ounces of orgeau. Um, you put in six ounces? Was it six ounces? Yeah, six ounces of Rougeau, two, three ounces of sugar, your choice. I guess Demerara would be good here. I got, I got what I got. I put it in the container. Uh, a tablespoonful of amaretto. I used Di Serrano. It's what I got. It's Italian. It's what I grew up on. It. Di Serrano, whatever. And then you add in an eighth of an ounce of orange blossom water. That's just kind of there for flavor, I guess, if, if you're into that kind of stuff. My grenadine also uses orange blossom water as well. But I need orgeat, which I'm also going to very sensually reach into my cooler and pull up from behind me. Take a look. It's in a container. It's labeled orgeau, but you can't see that. Because if I turn it to the camera, it will most definitely spill out of the container. I'm gonna shake that up a little bit because this was freshly made. This was freshly made right before we started, as well as the honey syrup, which I was, uh, which I created for this particular video, right, right as I was making dinner before everything happened tonight. And wow, this is fizzy. Why is it fizzy? I don't know why it's fizzy. It also has bits and pieces of stuff in it. I don't know. This is my first time, and it also I tasted it a little bit. It's incredibly sweet and not very almondy, but whatever. I need a half an ounce of it. All this effort for half an ounce. Jeez. I'm gonna try my best to pour that as a half an ounce into here and hopefully not two more and not two less. Oh, oh, that poured incredibly well. Half an ounce of orgeot. I don't know if it's orgeot or orgeot. It's a highly debated topic, apparently. I, 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 just, I just call it how I see it, which actually is not at all what I'm doing. I heard somebody pronounce it orgeot. I pronounce it orgeot. It's got a T in it. It's spelled O-R-G-A. Excuse me. O-R-G-E-A-T. If this were a spelling bee, I'd be failing already. And I also need a quarter of an ounce of honey syrup, which is just equal parts honey and water boiled together to make something that's pourable. See, this is honey, but you wouldn't think it is because it's so damn not viscous. It's so damn fluid. Um, technically, I I've seen recipes for it one to one ratio. I've seen it two to one ratio. I do whatever you want, dog. Uh, this is my first time making honey syrup, so I uh, went with the one to one. It was easy. I made dinner, and the honey syrup was on the side, and then it started cooling, and it was great. I need a quarter of an ounce of that. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be really difficult to pour. Um, hopefully, it doesn't get all over my book. 
Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Actually, this is gonna be even. This is gonna be great. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the straw that I have on standby. <laughs> I don't wanna spill anything. And I'm going to slowly do this trick where you put it in, cap off the top, and then I'm just gonna keep doing this until I have a quarter of an ounce of my honey syrup. That is gonna work perfectly. So, again, I pose the question How was your day? My day's been pretty good so far. I feel like I was praised by my boss today, and honestly, I'm just looking for validation in life. It was good, it was exciting, I did good things, and then immediately upon meeting with him, I completely stopped everything that I was doing, which I thought I was doing well, and moved to something else because I'm bad at prioritizing, I have a lack of motivation, and my initiation skills are subpar. But hey, according to at least one person, that's why I was hired. And so, I will provide the most exceptional levels of lack of motivation, lack of initiation, and really, really good at continuing to do what he does, and then forgetting about everything else. Preach. Ding! That honey syrup is absolutely delicious, by the way. It's, it's so delicious. It's, so, it's probably extremely sugary. You didn't need to add any sugar, because honey is just basically regurgitated sugar from the beans. This container does not want to go back on. There we go. Container is now back on. And I put that back in my... I put it back in my thingamabob. She has arrived! She has arrived! Say it loud, everybody! Ding! Oh. She has arrived. Hello, meatball girl. I have added all of my ingredients to the cocktail shaker, which includes rum, bourbon, gin, orange juice, pineapple juice, lime juice, or joe, and a honey syrup in the fog cutter. I can now take my book out of the way, because I don't need a reference anymore. <laughs> what are we making? Fog cutter. <laughs> Feel free to pause the video right here to get your own copy of the recipe from this book by Nicole Weston and Robert Sharp. Or don't. Make it yourself. Look it up. Use the internet. I'm not your dad. Whatever we do. I don't think I... Oh, I actually do need my cutting board going forward because we don't forget the garnish. I am going to... Shake a, shake a, shake a. It's time for shake a, shake a, shake a. Also, by the way, did y'all notice? There's a proper bar set up here behind... Behind my desk! I decided to take the tray table, put it on top of a milk carton, and then my seat is the... It's the cooler. That I almost tripped and fell and slapped my face on, on top of another milk basket. Technically, if I were to sit up straight, as I'm supposed to, and not slouch, I would be just uncomfortably off camera. Nobody would be able to see my party hat, but nobody's here to correct me. So I'm going to slouch all I want to and get really down and dirty with the focus of the camera. And then, you know, while you slowly think to yourself how uncomfortable that makes you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on to the speaking i should really be working on this uh this, this shaking technique i have i've been criticized on it before i usually try to do things quickly but really really i should be focusing on the technique before i focus on anything else so i believe it's all in the shoulder not in the wrist you'll hurt your wrist if you do this all the time and you can do more power if you just do it like that at least so i've been told i don't know but it's good it's good my friend it's good what does it smell like? Mmm. Smells like tiki. Not that I know what that smells like. I've never actually put my face right up to, like, one of those tiki, uh, like, statues, tiki models, and sniffed it. But I'm sure it would smell like a nice charred cedar if it was on fire. Or maybe. Sitting straight actually doesn't cut you out of the frame, and do see the shoulder being a little more effective. Oh, you're absolutely right. I'm gonna put this lamp, these destroyed limes. Ah, jeez, I almost dropped my cooler again. Ah, my fingers are so slippery. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on top of there, who cares? Yeah. It's my trash bin. My cooler's my trash bin now, too. I've never had one of those. Except for my mouth. <laughs> hey, yo. Um, yeah, so I shook it. Uh, oh, you know what else I need? I need crushed ice in a glass. Guess what I did off camera, too? I crushed ice. Now, I gotta ask this. I gotta pose this question. For the age-old problem that is crushing ice, what are you supposed to, how are you supposed to do it? This modern problem, old problems require modern solutions. I tried to put it in a fabric bag and just whack it against the counter. The fabric bag broke. 
I tried to put it in a plastic bag, whack it against the counter. The plastic bag broke. I decided, you know what? I have a blender. I'm gonna put the ice in the blender and then crushed ice, come, ice comes out. But you know what happens when you click the pulse button on the blender? It only blends a little bit of it and then all the ice cubes get all real comfortable up and up, farther up in the blender where it's far away from the blades and they're just like, I don't wanna have my toes all cut up. <coughs> Grind it today. No crushed ice for you. And I'm like, God damn it, blender, what's wrong with you? So my solution was to grind up as much of the ice as I could in the blender, pour out the crushed ice, put the solid ice back in, and do this about three times before I had a cup full of crushed ice. So I, I posed this question to the world. How in the world am I supposed to crush ice in 2021? Uh. And I have tried the hammer trick before, but it also breaks the bag. But you know, I will say, taking the large monkey wrench out to create crushed ice and making a scene, probably one of my favorite pastimes. But uh, in my cooler, I actually have the... Oh, actually, I didn't trust the cooler for the crushed ice, so the crushed ice is actually in the, in the freezer. So excuse me a moment! As I go and get my ice, my crushed ice with glass, actually there's a little bit of water in there, so let me, let me pour that out. There shouldn't be any water in here, but there is, so I'll get it out of there. <laughs> is ice wet? I don't know. Ooh, if ice is wet, then so are you. I'm gonna also put my orange juice back in my, uh, my, my, my freezy breeze. Freezy breeze. There we go. Because I don't want that going bad. It's great. Why not get an ice machine? One that does cubes and crushed in some cases, but also water. They're mostly on fridges, but why not with that? The problem is crushed ice. I can make ice in tin. Actually, the ice maker in my... <laughs> When I got in, I was like, why isn't the ice maker working? It's because the water wasn't attached to the fridge. The water valve is nowhere near my fridge. They did a terrible job. But I ain't complaining. It's fine. Crushed ice in a glass. Take your shake and drink. Strain it into that glass. Pour it up. Pour it up, my dudes. Oh, actually, do I? Ooh. Did I make a lot? Did I make a lot? I might have made a lot. Oh, there's definitely not enough... There's not enough crushed ice in there! No! Oh. oh, also it made like a- oh, my crushed ice is more of a... Okay, so I have to- I have to- <laughs> The crushed ice in the glass has become full ice again because of the, the- the water that occurred. So let me- let me dig into this for a second. Excuse me, this is gonna be a little- a little rough. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay! Woo! Oh, it's all over the place! I cannot wait to clean that up later. I should have a towel. God. This is called being a novice. Remember, we all have to start somewhere, and the fact that I get to start with something that's recorded, I'm gonna be able to look back at this and be like, <laughs> look at this fuck! But then we'll, I'll have a good laugh about it. But now my... I just noticed, I never poured the honey syrup in. I'm gonna give that a little stir. <laughs> I cannot believe that. I just looked at my- I just looked in the jigger and was like, what the hell? Where the hell- where the hell is the- why is there still stuff in here? I- I had thought it looked kind of like- it kind of looked like, uh, like, like, the liquid in the jigger looked kind of like, like, something brown and uncomfortable and I immediately thought body odor and sweat and I was like, did I sweat in that? I'm not drinking that, but it was honey syrup. Crisis averted. How does it smell now? Mmm. Mmm. I love that. Reaction videos in three years. I am terrified. Where will I be in three years? Hopefully not Philadelphia. We gotta move on. We gotta get- we gotta get- we gotta get on out of there. We gotta just get. Go on, get out of Philadelphia. Put my shaker to the side. Shaker to the side. I need to garnish this. How do we garnish this? I'm gonna garnish this with... Um... I'm gonna put an orange wedge on it. Which means, I'm going to cut a wedge off this orange. Um, or at least I'm gonna to try to. And for that, I'm just gonna kinda, of, I'm gonna go all the way down the orange. All the way down the center. Cause that's easy. Center is good. Angel is the centerfold. Angel is the centerfold. And then I'm gonna cut a wedge off of it. I don't know, how, how big a wedge should it be? A heaping wedge? Heaping wedge? That's a pretty heaping wedge. Ooh. That is a pretty heaping wedge. Oh yeah, it's a pretty heaping wedge. And I'm gonna keep that to the side for a moment as I place the rest of my orange um, somewhere within sight because I do like oranges and I will probably snack on that later. 
And I liked Ohio. We could just go to states for conventions and try looking around and all that stuff. Location hunting, done nice. Oh yeah, you just get to, if you're trying to look for a place to live, just go out and do things in other states and you might be like, wow, Columbus, Ohio is a really nice place. I'm not saying I'm moving to Columbus, Ohio, just saying it's a nice place. To those people in Columbus, Ohio, nice. I like your city. I also want to grab myself a cherry uh, for my cherry container. This is really sticky. Mm. There we go. I opened it up. It, the Fabri cherries. I don't have regular, regular cherries, so. We should do Hawaii. Yeah, let's do Hawaii. I like the idea of doing Hawaii. Hawaii is a nice place. Aloha, oi. Aloha. I don't know the song. I wish I did. I'm going to try to stab a cherry out of this. Just kidding. Not gonna try to stab a, a cherry out of this. I'm instead going to attempt to spear out a cherry with... Hey, look. The knife worked great. Now I'm gonna try to put that onto my spear. There we go. There we go. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Put it on the spear. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. How's the cherry juice taste? Mmm. Spooktober. It looks like blood. Look at it. Ooh, it's spooky. But not spooky enough. We should go to an anime con there in Hawaii. We totally should. And if we go there, we can save so much money visiting and we'll live in, in Japan by that point. Yeah, because then we could just go visit you in Japan and then we'll go to Hawaii. I guess, I don't know what's closer. Me to Hawaii right now or Japan to Hawaii. I'm just, I'm just unsure. Um, so I'm going to take this little cherry and I'm just going to kind of spear it to my orange... I, I don't exactly know how, but hey, that looks that looks pretty pretty. I like that. I'm gonna put that in my glass, and technically, I would also garnish this with a bay leaf, but I don't have any bay leaves. No, not the Pokemon. Like leaves from a bay plant. But the biggest leaves I have are basil leaves, so I rip these off of my basil plant, whose name is Bob. And I think that is beautiful looking. I am so... This is probably the prettiest drink I've ever made on stream. It's so cute. Ah, oh, I bet it tastes wonderful. I'm excited. See, this is why I'm actually kind of happy that I don't stream as often as I did previously, because then I can, like, work up to this. This is beautiful. It's novice work, and it probably doesn't taste as good as it would if it was a class, like, done by a total professional. But my god, it's so pretty. I love it. Look at it! It's great. I like that. Anyway, enough tooting on my own horn. Let's see if it actually pays off, because it very well might not. The Fog Cutter, ladies and gentlemen, and those who fall in between and beyond, starring the Space Spirits Bourbon, Gin, and Rum, with special appearances by Orange Juice, Pineapple Juice, Lime Juice, Orjo, and Honey Syrup. Cut. Print. Oh, it's delightful. That is, that can't be so easily described by one flavor. I'm immediately getting notes of orange juice and pineapple juice, but like the pineapple juice isn't that much and it's played off very nicely by the rum I think is most prominent because I definitely get those molasses and funky notes, the dark notes. But I don't think that the, the I don't think that the bourbon is lost in there. There's a certain bitterness that I want to say, and not like not like an unpleasant bitterness, a bitterness like like if you were to take a chunk of wood and put it in your mouth, it's probably gonna taste a little bitter. And bourbon was probably aged in the casks or whatever like that, so I'm not exactly surprised by that. It's it's great. I love it. Oh my god! And I just realized too, there's a sourness in it. That's coming from the lime juice. It's gotta be the lime juice or the pineapple playing together. That's awesome. That is really really good. What else is in there? The honey syrup probably. The honey syrup and the orge. I think. Give it a sweet... That's why. That's why it ain't so bad. Because it's sweet. There's a sweetness. The sweetness and the sour really gel well together. And the... Dare I say, aside from what you could definitely tell is rum in there... I don't really taste a lot of the alcohol. Super good. Damn. Bob cutter. Damn, wow. That's, that's good. Bob cutters, ladies and gentlemen. Because as you were making your journey on Halloween, or perhaps will be on Halloween, you were walking along the street or sidewalk, your music just stops. You and your purple pumpkin-sized snack, vegetable, candy bin, on the way to that last house, and the fog came down. But then you, your small little 12-year-old you, walking alone on the streets, took a sip of this bad boy. 
Because you're a bad boy, you shouldn't be drinking at the GH. Come on, dude. And the fog just cleared away. And now that you are drunk off your mind because of your first virgin sips of alcohol, you are daring and ready to trick or treat that house that's all the way down the road. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This was the fog cutter. Anyway, the show isn't over. I'm now, now I get to play a video game. On never ends. Wow, I spent 40 minutes on a single cocktail. Gotta get those numbers up. I gotta get those numbers up. Anyway, I'm gonna reorient my setup over here. I changed my camera angle for this. I brought over a table, all that stuff. It's great. I'm gonna. I, I go to break. I go to break and make this less awkward for everybody. But then, like, then I wouldn't be able to keep talking. I'm pushing my table off this side. I'm pushing my milk crate off to the side. We don't need those anymore. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. I'm gonna take my cooler and put it in another location now. We need that anymore. Here comes my gaming chair. Here it comes, gaming chair. Coming over to the, the location where I play video games at. Now I'm gonna sit down. Hello, everybody. This is actually a, ain't a bad angle. Ain't a bad angle. But for the purposes of video games, I don't know about that. Let's put you over here. Hello, everybody. Now back to the normal location. And back to the actual game. <laughs> It's game time, everybody! Let's take these yoga blocks that I was using as a stand for my camera and just, just, we don't need them. Bye-bye. Take it. Edge. Off. Now let's log into the Matrix. It's Graveyard Keeper, everybody! Did we forget? I, for a moment, I forgot. I was like, what's the next cocktail? What, what's the next cocktail that we're making? I'm not prepared for anything. This is, this is just to kind of get us into the spirit of it all. And my god, I feel like... I'm in the spirit of it all now. I am totally ready to take on the world of dead bodies. There we go. Ringing the bell. What does the bell mean? We've got a dead body. Yes. Okay. I'll admit, I have definitely lost track of... I feel like my energy's been low. You know? I feel like my energy has been way too low for the kind of content that we do. Premium quality content on this show. Whew. <sighs> This is delightful. I'm I'm happy. I am happy. I asked myself earlier how I'm doing today. I'm doing all right, man. Oh, I have ice currently melting on my desk. Let's just put that in my container. Oh my god. I have water on my desk. Let's keep that away from the computer. It's fine. Oh, what are we gonna do? I don't even know what my goal is this time. NPC quests, I guess. What day is it? It's Downward Day. What do we do on Downward Day? Miss Charm? Bring back the necklace from Snake. I have to help out Snake first. Collect a bucket of blood and five bloody nails from the dungeon. <gasps> I should go visit the dungeon! I have a sword! I should go visit the dungeon! I'm gonna go visit the dungeon. Meepo Girl's been low on energy lately as well. You should come visit my place. My place is a great place. Very high energy. Not because of the place. Because of me. But I'm not always that energetic. So, uh, I, I guess be careful. I'm gonna take all my foodstuffs with me, like onion rings and baked meat, which I definitely did not pull from dead bodies, because that would be preposterous. And I'm gonna go downstairs and then go to the basement. This game is becoming more and more like Stardew Valley. Like, like the more and more that I play it. It's just, it's just how it is. It's just how it is. I love it, I love it, I love it. Allow me to change my tag back to, um, usually at this point, at this point, I will switch out the mixology tag for the farming tag because we're not mixology anymore. Farming. <laughs> I'm just updating it. Now, instead of cutting through the fog, cocktail time is just cutting through the fog. It's lame now. Point taken. LOL. My house is open. My apartment is open to anybody who feels like they want to stop by. You know? You feeling a little down? I mean, I'm at work most of the day, but like... I mean, so long as you promise not to like, steal my belongings, break my windows, and potentially soil my bed while I'm gone... You're welcome, over. I'm gonna break a barrel! Oh my god! What is- can I- I can harvest like, pieces of metal from the basement? Yo, this is dope! I didn't know that I could, I could collect such resources down here. I'll never have to make nails again! That's tempting. What, the idea of soiling my bed while I'm gone? That's disgusting. I please, I implore you not to. I don't want to have to clean that. I mean, technically, I don't have to clean it, but like... Ugh. And that's the... 
Wow, I can get metal scrap down here and flitches. I can find flitches? Get bat, she come on, bat, stupid bat. God, what else is down here? A note? Bloody things? I need to find bloody nails and buckets of blood. Can I break this? Can I break that? Can I break these pots? Uh -huh. I can break these pots. <laughs> lentil seeds? I can make lentils? Those are beans! Or maybe they're legumes and I'm just not quite aware of it yet. Um, actually, that's an important question that I now must know the answer to. Is a lentil a legume? Lentils are grouped with beans and peas as part of the legume family! Lentils are legumes! They're not beans! Just like, just like peanuts. Peanuts are legumes! Okay, I did not mean to get myself totally and upsurely messed up on. Can I jump in the water? Can I swim? Can I get these books? No. Can I break these books? Swing! Nope. Can't do that. See, this game isn't as morbid as we think it to be. It's not that bad, actually. Not that bad at all. Swing, swing my sword against these little bat dudes. I don't like the fact that in this game, apparently when I take damage, I don't like... When I take damage, I don't take any knockback, so I don't have any, like... Like, rumble to let me know that I was just hit. I could have found ceramic bowls down here. Ugh. I wanted to sell them to the guy who is really into pottery. Actually, no, he doesn't sell... He doesn't buy my bowls. He only buys his own bowls. It's unfortunate. Hey, look! Apparatuses of torture! Oh, come on. Stupid bat. I wish I were better at fighting so I wouldn't die so easily. I'm not really dying that easily. Oh, can I... Can I break this? Break. 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 Flitch. Break pots. Break pots. Also, I don't like the fact that pots have health and that they pop up because it makes me think that I'm taking damage and I'm clearly not. Barrel. Flitches and nails. Oh, I can break... So I can break open those bins, but these ones, I guess I have to... Oh, they got metal pieces in them. That's why I have to hit them with my axe. Can I break this table? Break it, break your table? Nope. No, I cannot. Where am I supposed to find buckets of blood? That's my question. Yo, this is the first time I've actually used this metal straw. It's cold. Oh my god, I gotta fight. It's cold. It feels cold in my mouth. I like the cold in my mouth. It's good. It's nice as opposed to the warm in my mouth. Oh my god, I'm low on health. It seems. Okay, well, uh, bucket of water? Can I Can I have that? Nope. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna break this shit apart. I'm gonna eat some of my foods. And then, uh, oh, am I out of... I'm out of inventory space? Oh my god, I'm out of inventory space. Let's eat... Juice. Can I not eat juice? I can't eat juice? I can't drink juice? I don't need it then. I'll drink this beer then. Mmm. And onion rings. Effect on use. Beer thirst. Beer tastes much better now. <gasps> I didn't realize I could do that! Oh, well. Beer thirst. Beer tastes much better now. I already drank my beer. <sighs> Unfortunate. What else can I eat? Can I eat compost? Definitely cannot. Eat meat? What heals me? I don't have any healing items? What the frig there, dude? Keeper's Diary. I've got that now. Oh, the Keeper's Diary. I can give the Astrologer. Yeah! On Moon Day! <gasps> it's Moon Day! Oh my god, it's daytime on Moon Day. I gotta get out of here. How do I get out of here? Telepad. I can't do that right. I can't use the teleport pad right now. What the hell? Okay, I gotta find... I gotta find an exit then. I gotta make sure I visit my buddy the astrologer. He wants the book. It's moon day. On moon day, the astrologer comes out and says hello. I don't feel confident to... Oh, okay. So, I was gonna say I don't feel confident, but it looks like there's the exit. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I'm gonna break these pots. Okay, metal scrap. Like that. Um, how much health do I have? How can I tell? I literally cannot tell how much health I have. Aside from that little bar, which doesn't give me a number. Oh, please stop! Ah, jeez! I don't want to die! I mean, maybe I do. Maybe that's the whole point of this game. It's about dying. It's a game about dying. Okay, well, it's time to go down. I need to kill all the enemies first. Oh, so it's that kind of dungeon. Well, this certainly doesn't help me. Um... But I can break these bins, break these barrels. What else is down here? It's almost the end of Moon Day. I'm gonna miss it. Oh God. Oh, I already went this way. Uh, I might have to wait till next Moon Day to give the book to the astrologer. 
Or maybe I'll die and I'll just go back into the surface and it'll be wonderful. Hello. Hi. Hey, hi. Hey, ho, hi, ho. Hey, ho, hi, ho. Oh my god! Stop! No, stop! There we go. You're dead now. Excellent. See, slimes don't really threaten me, but bats do. Ah! <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I'm so scared all the time. Because it's spooky week. What was that? Onion seed? I can make onions? Oh, yeah, of course I can make onions. I recall that that's an ingredient in sandwiches. But, like, good sandwiches. Hamburgers. I think cheeseburgers require onions. So I think I'm under the impression that I've, um, I've killed all the enemies. Yes! Can I go up now? I'm gonna go back up. Oh, thank God. It's moon day, my guys. I gotta give my thing. Gotta give my regards to the lighthouse. Lighthouse! Buddy! Buddy! Diary! For you! Oh, what was your voice again? Great, great! How, how many important things there must be in this book? Amazing! There we go. That's your voice now. I haven't felt so alive for a long time. Um, so how can I open the portal on Witch Hill? Let me see. You need to craft a spirit laser. But I don't know what a laser is. Sorry. It should be crafted on the pedestal in front of the portal. You need to craft it in two parts. An emitter and a barrel. I know what emitters are. Lasers. Emitters. That's good. That's a part of a transistor. The base collector and emitter. And here we have three parts of the emitter. A mirror of pride, an eternal burning coal, and a salty fork. What about the second part? The second part of the book's text is covered with something sticky. I'll need to clean it off first. It's probably semen. I didn't say that. I think I need some acid and restoration tools to clean it. You know, the usual things that you use to clean off bodily fluids. Awkward silence as you get new tasks. Where can I find that stuff? <laughs> he wrote that his friends believe that all these things can be found in the town. I don't know, understand this, but he wrote that they were the soul of the town. That sounds like a delusion to me. Magic? <laughs> Nonsense. If I were you, I'd start with something you can see. First, I'd check the pedestal to the portal. Second, try to get to the town. Find those items. I got create acid. <laughs> Astro's ready to watch the stream and relax after the stress you've been dealing with. How was your day? Was it stressful? Have you got yourself a cocktail? Perhaps some other type of object of desire or vices of the world around you that will allow you to relax? I've got alcohol. <laughs> I love it. Tastes really good. Fog cutter. Good recipe. You can find it in the in the YouTube video that comes out after. It'll be in the it'll be in the description. You missed the cocktail? That's okay. Description. It's down there. We do that now. So about the acid, do you know where I can find any acid? I gave up alchemy many years ago, it's really a dead end occupation, but I think I know where you can get some acid. There's a dude named Dig, he lives in the town, and I'm pretty sure he's high literally all the time, so just ask him for LSD, we don't know what it stands for, but there should be a woman in the swamp, she's definitely crazy, but just in past she sold chemical ingredients. About the restoration tools, do you know where I can find some restoration tools? There we may have a problem, young man. The Inquisition destroyed them all, oh, fools. They believe the past can only bring harm and curses. Wrong. The past can only bring about the past. The future can only bring about the past. So we know how to study our past in order to predict our future. But I think you might still be able to find some of the black markets. Somebody with criminal connections could help you, like Snake. Snake has criminal connections, probably. I definitely know the right guy. I should talk to Snake. <laughs> I knew it. Oh my god, it's great. Dude, Astro needs the stiffest drink possible and have no al- and you have no alcohol whatsoever. It's okay. What could you do in place of alcohol? I guess like a nice- you got like strong coffee? I feel like stress could be relieved by a strong coffee. Excuse me, that or just give you the total jitters. That or maybe like a tea that you've steeped for much too long. <laughs> I feel like you might benefit from that too, as a personal recommendation. I'm not sure if caffeine treats you the same way that it treats me. Caffeine is like, sometimes caffeine totally works for me. Sometimes it just makes me tired. Also, this cocktail of mine is a little too acid forward, so I'm gonna have to drink some water or else the, my, my, everything is gonna get all gunky and wonky. I find that like after pineapple or after like citrusy drinks that like my mucus will get, will collect at the back of my throat. It sounds disgusting, but other people experience it. Let me talk about it.
God, I may need to refill up on water. Excuse me. Eventually. <laughs> Astrid needs, needs himself a good party again. I would like to boldly state that you came to the right place. Because it is always party time over here. However, we only have drinks this, at this party. It's a cocktail party. There are no party hats this time. We gotta step up our game. We gotta step things up a bit. Although, I do have a bell. So, um... It's the drinky bell! Everybody drink on the drinky bell! This is a thing now. Everybody drinks on the drinky bell. Whatever drink you happen to have. It doesn't have to be alcohol. You got water? Drink. You got coffee? Drink. Tea? Drink. Do you have battery fluid? Do you have... Do you have antifreeze? No. Don't drink. That's poisonous. Unless you are a life form that can properly process that sort of object. And liquid. In which case, use it as your libation. Enjoy yourself. And if you are a being that doesn't die from antifreeze, then you may drink that. You have my full, unbridled permission to drink antifreeze, if and only if it doesn't poison you. And that's not me implying that you should drink just a, li just a little amount of antifreeze. So, as it turns out, you may have heard something behind me. My coat rack just fell off the wall, and it knocked off my thermostat with it. And the air just stopped. I'm gonna try to investigate this real quick. And drinks are all you need to really enjoy a party. Let the inhibitions fall. And while we wonder about that, I'm gonna check out my, ther my, uh, my thingy. Lights on. Oh god, what happened? Did I break it? I definitely didn't break it. No, it's still good. It just came off the wall. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I've broken shit, Dad. It's all broken now. <laughs> oh my god. Well, now it's completely off the wall. As it turns out, coincidentally, the room cooled down to the to the temperature that I set the thermostat to right after the coat rack fell. It didn't disconnect from the wall. That would be really unfortunate because, to be perfectly honest, I just had the maintenance guy over. It would really... <laughs> It would really suck for me to have to call him back up and be like, Hey, Jamie. I broke something. I need help. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Oh, my God. Apparently. What? Oh, that kept falling off the last time you were over? Seriously? Well, stop touching the thermostat. Not allowed. That's too much money. You're going to have to pay, start paying rent if you start messing with my thermostat. Just kidding. Don't worry about it. If you're, if you're hot, cool it up. Rub ice all over your body. Or don't. That's also a, a wise plan. Please. If you're gonna rub all, ice all over your body, I hope you do it in the shower where there is a drain. I'm gonna throw some shit in this barrel. I'm gonna throw my baked meat in the barrel. Uh, green jelly in the barrel. I'm gonna put a... I'm gonna put a... Uh, uh, oh, wow, these are star onion seeds. Nice! Did I not get any more food down there? I got a keeper's key. Eh, I don't know what that good that's good for. Oh, uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Flitches. Flitches are in the box. Um, clay is also in the box. Iron is in the box. So is simple iron parts, nails, and iron scrap. And, um, why not? Let's put the key in the box, too. What do we have to lose? I don't want the story in the box. Nuh-uh. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't want to pick up the iron! No, I didn't want to pick up the iron! I picked up the iron. Now the iron's in there. Also, it's Sunday. And you know what that means? It's Lord's Day! And y'all need Jesus or some other divine being. Honestly, I would prefer anything other than Jesus. Jesus is just so overrated. Like, everybody believes in Jesus. I wanna believe. I'm gonna be believe in sentient plant beings. I wanna believe in lotus flowers that after they blossom on the lily pads, they start speaking to you in elders' tongues. As soon as you thought it was okay, it's not. I be you believe in Megatron, and I respect your beliefs. I don't believe in Megatron, but that doesn't mean that you can't feel the power of your religious being coursing through you. And when you consider, as you consider what your being means to you, I'm gonna go preach to the world about a God that I don't believe in, because that's modern society. Now everybody, 
Come to my sermon and give me currency. Come, embrace the- Oh my god, I turned my lights on. Embrace the power of the Lord! Our church is great! Nice, nice, nice. Snaps all around. Snaps all around. And now let us play for the blessing. Blessing, blessing time. Ah! Believe in the glowing power of the controller. Okay, nice, nice. All right, well, that was, that was pretty good. Your donations are welcome. Thank you very much, everybody. May the peace be with your butt. And yeah, great sermon. After a great church service like that, why wouldn't you reward yourself with sin? Anyway, I have faith now, which means tomorrow on Downward Facing Day, I get to talk to Miss Charm and swoon her. Oh, no, just kidding. I didn't need that for this anymore. Instead, what I use faith for is I use faith for research purposes because I am not only a man of God, I'm also a man of science. I'm a man of both sides of the spectrum. <laughs> I'm on all sides of the spectrum. Uh, Batwing, I want to research that. Study. Workity, workity, work. Can you believe in me instead? No cult followings allowed. But if you want to believe in me, not in a religious way, you can have faith in me. That's fine. You can have faith with me. You can believe in me. That's okay. But you definitely can't make sacrifices in my name. If I catch you doing so, I really don't know what I'll do, but... Perhaps I'll get the authorities involved. I feel like that needs to go beyond my control. Could you imagine? I understand that people, like, receive death threats, but, like... I mean, I was gonna ask, do celebrities get, like, letters of people saying, I'm gonna worship you, I go to church, and you are my god. I'm sure it happens. That seems a little scary. Gotta admit that. So I can break apart bat wings. Workity, workity, work, work, work. All right. I got chaos solution. Ah, that's how I make chaos solution. Now I want to take all these solutions and I want to research those too. Order solution, chaos solution, life solution. Eh. Ah. I've got to catch you doing it first. That's correct, Astro. I have to somehow find you sacrificing living things in my name. Or, or maybe I just have ways. Perhaps I've got eyes on every one of my followers. I, I'll, I'll find a way. Or, or perhaps you'd like to keep tabs on yourself and keep me in the loop, in which case you can totally film yours. Feel free to at me on Twitter, slide into my DMs of you sacrificing something. I want to see a video of you strangling the life out of something that used to be alive in the name of me. And I hope to God nobody took that seriously. It's spooktober. Shit like that flies. Because everybody knows that I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Please. Don't kill living things in the name of me. If it's in the name of survival... Fine. What if it was a party hat? Dude, I've stabbed party hats before. I've ripped the threads of life out of party hats. And if I can do it, by God, you can too. Oh, I don't need faith for this. I only need science. Workity, workity, work. I've completed the study of health solution. Whoa. Oh my God, what does that do? Oh, order solution. Oh, I've completed the study. What does that do for me? What, what, what does this do for me? But did I do it in the name of somebody else? Uh, I probably did it in the name of some unnamed demon whose name I do not know, which is why they remain unnamed. Um, it was definitely not a sacrificial thing. Disney Queen, class got out early. That means when class gets out early, that means we need to celebrate. You know what that means. It's the drinking bell. <laughs> Everybody take a drink out of whatever you have. It doesn't have to be alcohol. But if you've got it, who am I to stop you? It's the drinking bell. See, nobody makes me consume anymore. So I'll just make myself consume. Hot Wheels. Beat that. And now I am sad. I need, <laughs> I need to have faith to, to study bowls. I will use all the faith that I have. Consumption. <laughs> We did it! Finally! A month in the making. I finally had the power of consumption again. I love it. So, what did I... What, what did I... What did I study the bowls into? Doesn't decompose into anything. Well, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Astro, stop doing it because you're saving points. 
<laughs> You're scaring the shit out of me, Astro, but that's good. That's exactly why we have the points there. Uh, if anybody has ideas for, like, really good points, for, like, really, really high number points, DM me. Just, just let me know. <gasps> it's time to do some LED one flexions. I've completely forgotten how to do these. Uh, I think I just go to the side and I just, I do that. Yeah. LED one flexions. Oh, it's on, baby. It's exercise time. No, are those not uh, LED one flexions? Uh, don't I put it up in front? I put it up in front, don't I? Anna, teach me. Teach me the way. Across the body. Oh, across the... What? Yeah, I know I was doing it right at the very end. See, I'm not that stupid. I have three degrees. It means I'm not stupid. Guys, it means I'm not stupid, right? It means I'm not stupid. I need to find things that study for the power of faith. So I'm going to go into my collection of things that are faithful, or perhaps not so much, and um, find things that I can research in the name of, I don't know, all that is holy. <laughs> That's not holy. That's not holy. This isn't holy. That's not holy. That's not holy either. None of these things are holy. None of you are holy. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so loud about that. Zombie juice is holy. So is blood. So is the heart and skulls. Oh yeah. Now that's freaking morbid. Am I sure? I'm sure now. Uh, this one gives. This one gives for green and blue. Green and blue points. That could be decomposed into nothingness. Wonderful. What about this? What can blood be decomposed into? I have no faith left. Unfortunate. Just stab a hole in it and make it holy yourself. Where's my knife? I enjoy stabbing things. Oh, I found my knife. I'm gonna stab a hole in... You. Yeah. Stab, 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 stab. And now you are holy too. You're welcome. Sometimes I forget about the forced perspective of the camera. It's enjoyable. Sometimes, every once in a while, I become re-enlightened to that fact. I love it. <laughs> I mean, Astro's not bi, but you'd still get stabbed by me any day. <laughs> hey -o. I'm by curious if that counts, but that's only because I've questioned myself so much that I've started to tip the needle a bit. Statistically speaking, based off of my interests, apparently I'm not totally straight. But like, you know, be into whatever you want to be into. Why do labels matter? It don't. It don't matter no much at all. I'm gonna do some research. I need to do notes. Notes on some beautiful stories. I'll do that. Ah, where's my knife? Is a quote from Cameron that makes you deeply uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not dangerous. It's not dangerous. I think that's the only recorded instance of me maniacally laughing on camera in a threatening manner. <laughs> Teachable moments. Teachable moments. Somebody said that to me at work the other day. Teachable moments. Yeah, my poor neighbors, you're absolutely right. They must be thinking like, the fuck is wrong with this guy? What's so fucking funny? I don't get it. I'd say I feel bad, but... For all I know, they pay more rent than me. For, for all I know, they pay more rent than me. So, you know what? I'm the I'm the lowest kid on the block, so I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my opportunities and I'm gonna use it well. I'm gonna use it well. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I'm chill with it, dog. I'm chill with it. I need to put bodies in the ground, and in order to put bodies in the ground, uh, I need to go sleep because uh, it's time to sleep. Oh, but 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 before I go and go to sleep, I should totally should totally bring some of this wood back with me. <clears throat> Oops. Trying to get the, the wood train on. Oops. Stupid trees! I have three bodies in the morgue? Whoa, that's a lot of bodies. 
That is a lot of bodies in the morgue. That's a that's a frightening amount of bodies. They're all dead. They're corpses. And corpses imply that there is no life left. I, I think, unless you're a zombie. If you're a zombie, you're a walking corpse then, I guess, right? In which case, you're still a corpse. Hmm. I, I try not to look too far into this stuff. I'm not... I'm not a very spooky kind of... Not a very occult kind of person. Gotta say, if somebody were to make, like, a particular, like, occult fandom, like, easy for me to digest, I'd do it. Speaking of easy things to digest, have you considered getting a subscription to Audible.com where you can listen to all your favorite books, textbooks, and other form of read mediums read by somebody else that you have to pay money for? I started listening to books on Audible.com. I'm forever changed. I've gotten through nine and a half chapters in a book in a week. That's more than I've ever been able to read on my own. My life has been forever changed by Audible.com, and now... My wallet is permanently changed, too. Look, it's the fog. Cut that fog, you poor sap. With a fog cutter cocktail. I gotta say, if it wasn't, if there wasn't like a $15 price point for audible.com so I can purchase another free book that I keep for life, by the way, with or without my subscription, then I feel like it would be more worth it. Oh, it's great. Yo, Astro just finished the Invincible series last week and excited for season two. I cannot wait. Think, Mark! You find that you have no time to read books on your own, so why not get Audible.com for $15 a month where you get one free credit per month that you can spend on any book in our premium collection with you will own for life and be able to listen to and download at your pleasure even if you cancel your subscription. Think, Mark. It only makes sense. You'll outlive all these humans. Why not outlive all the knowledge and pass it down to future generations because you will basically live forever? No more space dog. No more, no more space dog. No more space talk. What was I doing again? Wait, are we hashtag sponsored by Audible now? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Although, we are sponsored by Salami, so make sure to get yourself some Salami today, folks. Go to salami.com colon slash salami. I should... <laughs> Actually, I'm really curious now. What, how much would it be to get to salami.com? Actually, I'm morbidly curious now. I'm like, really curious now. I want to know. I want to know... What? I really, really want to know. What? What, um... Oh my god, I, I need to know what... Salami.com is now. Where's my Chrome tab? Where's my Chrome tab? Where are you, Chrome tab? Chrome? Hello? Chrome, there we go. Chrome. Whoa, that's not right. Hey, look, it's my stream. Ignore that. Salami.com! What's on Salami.com? I have to know! EMF, the gourmet Italian market! Your Italian gourmet specialty store serving you for over 30 years. You want gift baskets? Gotcha. You got products? Gotcha. You want catering? Gotcha. You want capicola and all different types of assorted meats and cheeses? You got it! Welcome to Eastern Meat Farms. Join our mailing list. Join our mailing list. Let's join our mailing list. Actually, let's not. Whoops. Okay, that's all of my... Hmm. Gonna have to block that out. In the... hmm. There's all my personal information. I've doxed myself. Uh-oh. Homemade salads. Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's salami.com. Salami.com. Salami. Dot. Salami. Slash salami. Where does it go? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> ah, it's great. It's great. Great, 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 great. In any case, get out of here, mouse. We don't need you. Stop, stop mouse. I said get out of here. I don't want the... Stop! Get off the screen! What are you doing? Why is my mouse still on screen? Oh, I needed to click into the... Stop. What the frick? What? No, stop. Ah! Why is my mouse still on screen? I don't want the mouse to be on screen. Why is the mouse on screen? Was that always like that? Oh, there we go. Now the mouse is gone. That was annoying. <sighs> it was bound to happen at some point. Yeah, now you know what my email is, so you can email me. It's signed. You can, you can email me. There was also, like, a bunch of other emails in there, too. <laughs> Oops. I guess I'll mark that. There we go. Boop! I gotta push this wood out somewhere. 
Gotta put the wood out there. Man, don't you hate it when stuff like that happens? Crazy. I need to go harvest my harvest my plants. I'm gonna get some carrots. I'm gonna get some wheat. I'm gonna get some carrots. Radish beets. Cabbages. Want some cabbages? Want some more cabbages? Want some carrots? Want some hemp? Weed? Want some weed, my dude? Everybody's got time for weed. Did you smoke your ganja today? Ganja. Excuse me, everybody. And now I can plant everything. Plant. Gotcha. Plant. Gotcha. Plant. Gotcha. I gotta plant everything. Gotcha. Oh my god, I love farming! Or do I? Do I really love farming? I don't even have a seed to put here. What kind of seed I got? What kind of seeds do I have? Hmm. Put that seed in there. Put the onion seed in there. I got hemp. I got wheat. I got crop waste. I got carrots. I'll get some carrots. I'll get some, get some, get some 10 carrots. Great. I mean, if Asher were to email me then, we would also know your last name. So it'd be mutual destruction. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put yourself at risk like that. I wouldn't. Or maybe I would. What day is it today? I need to talk to the merchant, don't I? Merchant? Did I need to give you any things? Merchant? Merchant, 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 merchant. No? Who is Clotho? Oh, Clotho is the witch. An old witch with young eyes. Uh, where is my thing? Where is my thing? It's Wednesday. That's what today is. No dipshit! I mean, what day it is in the game! Look at it! It's claw day! Sorry, I didn't mean to get aggressive. That was very rude of me. I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize to my dear fiance. I'm sorry. I gotta get less. I gotta get less, less energetic. I gotta stop. I gotta think about. I gotta think about what I'm saying before I say it, lest I make a mistake. We can't have mistakes now, can we? I have to be the perfect Super Saiyan, the ultimate life form, Shadow the Hedgehog. Can I make more crop waste pot? Can I make more compost piles? I can make more compost piles. I just need sticks. <laughs> I need a bunch of sticks. If I got a bunch of sticks, that'd be great. So I need sticks. I need 10 sticks at a time. How many sticks? 10. Why do I have 11 sticks? Oh. I need more sticks. Let's get more sticks. Let's go chop down twigs and get stick. Where are all the stick at? Stick? Stick, can I chop you? No. Can I chop? Can I chop any of y'all? Any of y'all got stick? 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 Small shrub? Small shrubbery? Where is the shrubbery? You a shrubbery. Or you're not a small shrubbery, but you give stick. Ah, oh, look at that stick. It's great. Somebody needs to sacrifice something to me. So that I will be calm and doesn't cause a party disaster. No, 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 no. I don't think anybody needs to... I don't think anybody needs to sacrifice anything. I don't think that needs to happen. I think, I think, frankly, I think we should not... I don't think we should sacrifice anything. Then a party disaster will occur, and we'll get it on camera. And it'll be hilarious. For everybody. Except for me. Isn't that really the cause of fun? <gasps> Have my offering! It's a tiny little bit! It's a corgi! I love corgis! Wait, this is what we do for things like that. Uh, that's, that's it. That's, that's that. Where, where are we? Where are we? <laughs> I didn't plan that. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that. That's what you get for a bit. A small little bit. I like that. That was so awesome. Time to sacrifice your big titty goth GF in the name of Cameron. You know what that means though? And I'm not saying that this is a particular aspect of the faith of Cameron, but when you sacrifice something like that, you get equal value in return. So if you sacrifice your Big Titty Goth GF in the name of me, I potentially, according to the rules of equivalent exchange and potentially modern science, will have to also correspondingly become big, tittyful, and goth. And potentially identify as a female so as to refer to myself as the girlfriend of somebody else. Um, 
I don't particularly want to make those changes in my life right now. I'm not at that point. The trans the, the transition is a transmission transition is a transition for everybody. I'm not ready to take that journey. So I ask you kindly, don't sacrifice your big titty job gop G yet for your benefit and for my benefit. Because I know the rules of equivalent exchange. And I just want to make sure that you're not making the wrong decision. Amen. <laughs> Dit. We'll go down in history. I don't know what the... <laughs> you... <laughs> Me and was alt tab. What the hell happened? Um, honestly, you had to, you had to see it to believe. <laughs> so funny. I went to go take... I went to go grab one of the party horns. And as I came up, I spit it out of my mouth. But it made a hilarious sound. That was great. Somebody, that's gotta be, oh God, it's gotta be one of my best moments. I'm gonna put that as a part of my compilation. I've been trying to make like a, apparently you can do like channel trailers for Twitch. I gotta make my channel trailer. It's gotta be all the best moments. That's gotta be one of my best moments. That was freaking hilarious. That was so funny. I love that. So it's official. We have a religion where you are the science guy. No, no. What are you talking? I did not approve of this. I can't stop you because I'm not your mother or whatever. But you know? <laughs> you think the channel trailer should literally just be that? Honestly, you know what it should be? I need somebody who's musically inclined to make that into like a song. Like, like, actually I need to figure out how to take that particular clip and put that onto a keyboard so I can play it as a song and make my own song up. It's the camera with an X theme song. Song with an X. S-O-X-N-G. I heard by say that I approve. No! No, I take it back. I take it all back. Perfect. Time to make flowers. No, there is no flowers. No, no, no flyers. No flowers. They can be flowers. Purge the heretics. We can make a religion like the Jesus religion. I've never heard of the Jesus religion. Would you mind explaining that to me? I've never heard of Jesusism. If you wouldn't mind popping a link to Jesusism in chat so that we can all better round ourselves faithfully, spiritually, and potentially sexually. I'm not saying that Jesus is a part of that part of my life, but it may be part of others. Get some acid to read the second part of the diary. I gotta give me some acid. I gotta make some LSD in my basement. Anna will make a song on my lips once you have time. But Anna, you never have time. That's the joke, right? <laughs> Wikipedia.org slash Jesus plus religion. Opera. 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 Opera GXNQ ampersand Jesus religion source UTF-8. That's a, that's an encoding standard. I need to make more compost heaps. That's what I was getting all these freaking sticks. Make compost. I got enough for four compost heaps. That'll probably be enough for a little bit. Make some compost heaps. Gonna put a compost over here. Oh. Compost. 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 Can I make more compost? I think... Oh, no, no, I can definitely make one more. Because I can make four. Eee! Ah, uh, you want the Mormon version or the Catholic one? Or the Jewish version or the Muslim one? Or any of the other smaller ones? I want... I want... Which Jesus do I want? I want... This is what I want. I want the intersection between Jesus and Scientology. Those are the two dots that I'd like to put together in my head. I have no cohesive connection with my unconscious mind that I can think of aside from Jesus is religion. Uh, Scientology is religion. <coughs> Cult. Or so I've been heard. I, I'm not educated on Scientology. There is a Scientology place that I can go down the street to and I'm sure if I walked in and said, excuse me, I'd like to know more. That they'd be more than happy to sit me down, steal my wallet, and trap me. And, and show me all there is, all the beauty and enlightenment of Scientology. Or if there is anybody out there who is a Scientologist who would be able to educate us all with properly with proper resources that don't make it seem like a cult, unless it is a cult, in which case, fess up now. I'll forgive your sins. Not because I'm the deity of a cult. I mean a religion. That'd be, that'd be silly. That'd be silly. That's crazy. You gotta, gotta shoot that stuff down now. Or gets out of hand. Somebody's gonna wind up walking along the streets and be like, hey, have you heard of exism? Exism? Yeah. Like with our deity, Cameron, who spells his name with an X. Like, no, what the hell are you talking about? That's crazy. Crazy. 
Religion is whatever man wants to do with the unexplained to give themselves clarity in the unknown. I, for one, don't know a lot of things about my life, and I look inside to find the God that lives within all of us. It's great. Could make an anvil. I need more wood sources. Need more, need more woods. It's not a cult, it's science. Who would deny Xenu's existence? I would never deny. I don't even know who Xeno is. How could I deny their existence? Xenu, you... Xenu, you are valid. If Xenu is indeed a deity in Scientology, then I would like Xenu to know, according to my own beliefs and practices and moralities, that you, Xenu, are valid. And if you are valid, then you're okay to me. You're okay in the eyes of me. Which, I guess, would mean something different to those who worship me as a deity, which I implore you not to. That's just silly. However, I do like the validation. I'm only human. I like the validation. I'm selfish in ways like that. I'll be honest. It feels good. I'm getting nothing but honesty here. Sounds pretty awesome. Although... You see, actually, I say that, right? That, oh man, being like a deity sounds pretty awesome, but I feel like it probably isn't. Like, like, I, I feel like it would have the same effect as if, like, you were a celebrity. And I've been, from what I can tell, if you're a celebrity, you sometimes get to a point where you just don't want to be a celebrity. And that's understandable. Didn't, like, somebody just recently came out and said, like, I renounce my celebrityism. I think it was like LeBron James or something, or I think a basketball player, or Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. It, it was a guy. It was a guy. I think it was a basketball player. It was like, I don't want to be a celebrity. I don't want to be grouped in with those people anymore. I'm like, you? I don't think you're in a position where you're able to just kind of say, I don't want to be a celebrity anymore. Can you get to that point? I don't think... Yeah, he retired from being a celebrity. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know if you can do that. I just poured the rest of my shaken cocktail into my, um, into my, into my drink, because there was more left over. <laughs> you can. I can. You can. We're all can for can-can. You just fade out of existence. Somehow, I just, I just don't believe that, but I'd like to see it happen. Let's see what happens in 10 years. If everybody's forgotten about LeBron James or Shaquille O'Neal or whoever it was, I, I apologize. I really... I just know he's a like a, I believe you just know he was a famous basketball player and those are the most prominent basketball players that I can think of and also the tall guy who has a name that I can't remember um I can't remember honestly I know he was very very tall and I believe his name was of either Chinese origin maybe or Japanese I'm not so sure if I could remember the name I would just say it but I just I just can't I just can't being God would absolutely suck you gotta worry about every single person in the history of ever then you also you're loved you're hated for literally everything not since michael jordan not probably not since michael jordan is still talked about michael jordan is talked about is he did he renounce his thing too hmm. <laughs> lucifer had a fun time exploring this idea <laughs> like lucifer the show or like being god of being hated and loved about everything i enjoyed the term i enjoyed the show lucifer I'm still actively watching it. I, I uh, left off at like, uh, like season four. LeBron is retired. Nice. I guess that makes sense. I suppose if you get too old for this shit, so to speak, then uh, it's right to just take a break. Try to just take your break. Take a break. You'll be fine. <laughs> oh my god, what was I doing? What can I do on up day? The Inquisitor, Silver Star Wine. I cannot make wine right now. I need buckets of blood and bloody nails from the dungeon. I need the trade license, the bish. Uh, I'm gonna go into town. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go into town. Actually, I'm gonna delve into these bodies. Oh, this is a really bad body. How are you doing, sir? How are you doing? Wow, you're very evil. I don't like you at all. Um, I don't like you. I'm gonna take you, and I'm gonna throw you in the water, because I don't like you. I don't like bodies like you. Get out of here. Go on, get. Get on out of here, body. So far, I have not found any consequences for these actions. I can just whoop and move on with my life. 
I feel like there should be consequences. But there are no consequences. Not from what I can tell. Absolutely no consequences. And honestly, aren't things best when there are no consequences? How are you doing? You are not very happy right now. And I'm gonna extract meat from you. And then, uh... Do I have bones? I don't think I got bones. Do I got intestines? I don't think I got intestines. Is extract the intestine? Yeah. Let's extract the intestines. Now I got intestines. His body's a piece of shit now, so... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make a surgeon's mistake. I don't have one of those yet. Oh. Mm, I don't want that. I'll take that. Out of here. I'll probably end, uh, end up including the water over time. Yeah, but like, I don't know if this game has that in mind. Trees just come on back magically. Maybe I'll create the zombie apocalypse. There are zombies in this game. But I have yet to figure out necromancy. Speaking of necromancy, I should definitely check the tech tree and see what else I can make with, uh, with my newfound textual powers. Price of faith. I can create prayer for donations. All right. Ah, faith. One to three. Ten needed to guarantee a successful ceremony. Cremation. I need more. Yeah, see, I need more uh, fixins for my church. How about uh, level two candelabras and windows? Confessionals. Price of faith. I want to save them for the confessional. If I bring someone back to life, can I talk to them again? Apparently, there is only one zombie who regained consciousness. And his name is, like, what's his name? Maybe he's in my NPC list. Where are you? Chained on the wall? Uh, his name is Gunter, and he's in my basement. You need flyers for your church. Do you need flyers for my church? Gotta make some flyers for my church. Oh, but first I need to finish this research I was doing. Very important research. I put that in there. I'm gonna put... Uh, I want another chest down here. Can I make another chest down here? I want to make another chest down here. Ah, just kidding. Not gonna take a chest down here. I'm gonna take all my body parts. I'll take all my body parts and I'll put them in a in a, a chest in an adjacent room. The Church of X. Oh yes, it's a church, all right. And they've got some X in here. Put some of my shit in there. Meets on Wednesdays. No, it meets on Lord's Day. It meets on Sundays. I guess it does meet on Wednesdays for now. Nah, no deities here. No gods or kings. Only man. No gods or kings. Only man. What else was I doing down here? Um, making chapters. I can make flyers. Here, let's make some flyers. Flyers are absolutely useless. Now I have flyers. And faith points. Now I can spend it on the power of faith. You see the power of faith. None of my confessionals and all sorts of things that I can build in my church. Whew. As long as your ex isn't there. Get it? Ex? Your ex? Then we'll be just fine. I think we'll be just fine. What else can I build? I can build a wooden church shrine. Wow, that sounds cool. I need four blocks, four planks, four simple iron parts. Is that really all I researched from that? The confessional. Oh, I can make the confessional too. Oh, uh -huh. I'm gonna make a confessional. I need a bunch of planks of wood and complex iron parts. I'm gonna make one confessional for now. Actually, fuck it. We're gonna make two confessionals. It'll be great. Ah, oh. Astro's gonna go watch Clerks 2. What is that movie about? I'm curious, but I'll look it up in a little bit. Peace out, homies. Peace out, home dog, home slice, dude, fellow follower. I mean, totally not, obviously. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Assuming it's evening for you. I usually watch my movies in the evening. It's kind of like Jay and Silent Bob. I wish I had context for those too, but I'm not very good with pop culture stuff like that, so I actually don't know those movies either. But it's okay! The brunt of explanation is not on you. I'll look it up. I'll write it down. Uh, I got a pencil. Clerk. Two. Electric Boogaloo. Love it. Clerks too. Clerks. Not not just clerk. Clerks. 
A wooden planks. Uh, I also need polishing paste. That was that. How do I make wooden blocks again? Oh! Wooden beams are made from those, but I'm pretty sure I have wooden be- I totally have wooden beams. Oh, freaking sweet. They have iron parts. I got simple iron parts. I need complex iron parts. I have all this scrap. I got billets. Billets I can use to make firewood, right? Firewood? It's like Jay and Silent Bob, but follows Dante and Randall. Indefinitely something to watch with Anna. Oh, I cannot wait. Anna, put that on our list. Do we have a list? We should totally get a list. I'm gonna make all this firewood so I can have fire. Okie dokie, now I got all this firewood. It is moon day. Feel for firewood. All the firewood. Firewood. Now iron from iron scrap. I also want complex iron parts. I would like four of them. Add down, right? I say eight of them. Can I get eight? I can get eight. Oh, yeah. And I also need a bunch more uh, woody pieces. And for that, I need flitches. So let's just, fuck it, let's make 26 of them. How many uh, wooden planks do I already have right now? Do I have any wooden planks? Nope, just flitches. Time to go to sleep. Time to rest my sorry ass for the night. Oof. Not actually. I, uh, I'm not very tired yet. Not just yet. Doing all right. Doing just fine. Doing just fine. Fine, fine, I'm so fine. So fine, I'm gonna go beat the shit out of some wood. And iron parts. Uh, complex iron parts, I got two. I gotta do that four times. I will have eight, that's perfect. And then I'll have all these wooden planks to do. It's a good thing I got sandwiches. Actually, where am I? Where am I, where am I at? Uh, it's somewhere. I gotta go down here, collect... I don't have all the goods in my collection. I gotta go collect my goods. Are the cabbages ready? Oh my god. Everything's ready to harvest. Oh damn. Oh damn, son. Where'd you find this? Alright, alright, alright. Do some of that. Do some of that. Mixing some compost. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Compost, baby. We put shit in the ground and then eat what comes out of it. Literally. That's composting. I don't have any cows, though. How am I supposed to obtain milk? How do I get that sweet? Milk. I do not know how to procure milk. Not in this game. Put my seeds in the chest. Seeds in the chest. Seeds in the chest. Collect the rest of the stuff over here. Pete. 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 It's the game we're playing. Pete game. Pete game putting shit in the ground. Actually, come to think of it, Pete isn't manure so it's not animal feces i mean clearly it's not animal feces because i don't have i'm not putting shit into the pile i'm putting food waste into the pile so that kind of makes sense uh, but anyway all's well oh i'm out of carrot seeds what else can i plant uh in the, in the interim put the hemp in here but put some crop waste in there oh okay take my cabbages with me keep my beets with me keep my carrots with me i don't know what they did to do with hemp uh take the wheat with me I'm gonna put in here the maggots, because I don't eat those. And why not? Let's put some flyers in there. Who knows? Who knows what we can make of this? Oh, and did I have any other seeds that were enough to plant? Uh, no. So, that's gonna stay vacant for now. Yeah, it's a Disney character. What is? I'm lost. I'm lost in my own chat. I don't know what we're talking about anymore. Oh, something to watch with Anna because it's a Disney character? Dante and Randall? Dante, like, from Dante's Inferno or Dante from, like, the Devil May Cry series? That's that's all I could think of. I could... <laughs> I'm immediately reminded of the, um, the fake video game covers that include, like, all the modifications, like, and Knuckles and starring Dante from Devil May Cry series and all that stuff. It's so funny. And then also, subsequently, Paul Blart Mall Cop movie posters. This was very, very, very funny. I don't have any dough! I gotta make dough! And for dough, I need flour! And for flour, I need water! So let's make flour! I can put some work into that. Oh, yeah. But I gotta eat sandwiches. I'm gonna get back my uh, energy. 
Yeah, make more flour. Then we'll make some dew. And then after we make some dew, after we get the, the wheat, we turn it into the flour to get the dew. Then we make the sand. We cook the dew into bread. And then we make the sandwich. And that's that. Really. It's really all there is. Gotta do this four more times. How much dough am I making from this? I'm probably making a shit ton of dough from this. Oh, yeah. Now that's how you do it. Hey, yo. That's a lot of dough, my friend. That's a lot of dough that we're making. Gotta throw some of that dough. Gotta give some of that dough to the people. People need this. The people yearn for this. They need that dough. I also need more meat, too. But, um... I only have six pieces of baked meat. I gotta get more meat. I gotta eviscerate more bodies. More, more bodies. More, more bodies. More, more meat. The meat be with you. And also your tummy. That's a lot of dough. I don't think I've ever seen this much dough in my life. Not even a bakery could have mounted this much dough. Incredible. That's so crazy. There's so much dough in there. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna turn this dough... The bread. Oh god, I've run out of run out of things to set on fire. I don't have any. I don't have any uh, anything really. All right, well I guess I'll go to sleep and then I'll chop some wood in the morning. It takes a certain kind of man to wake up early in the morning, and chop up wood to feed his family. His family being him and himself only. And that's the kind of man I am. I feed myself in the morning. Because I live alone currently. Let's chop up some wood billets. Make some firewood. Firewood for all the... Yummy tummy num nums. Because everybody knows... You can't survive... Without some yummy tummy num nums. Without any yummy tummy num nums, you've got no energy, wen energy, wen energy. There's no ATP for your cells. Don't be tired. Be wired. I like that. Has anybody coined that yet? Don't be tired. Be wired. Like, yeah. You're right. Oh my god, I got a lot of firewood. Let's just put a bunch of fire in here. Fuck it. 60 of them. Let's cook all the bread. Bread? Can I make bread? I can make muffins! Oh my god, I can make muffins! That's so cool! And if I had dough and berries, I could totally make cake. At least 95. Holy shit! Wow! I'm gonna save some dough next time. Or actually, that's not. What is that actually? That's not dough. A pastry dough. Oh, how do I make pastry dough? How do I do that? How does one make pastry dough? I have to know. Oh my god! Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that's pasta. Wait, how do I. Pastry dough uses. Oh, I need milk and egg, too. That's why it costs so much. That makes sense. Um, but in any case, I'm just gonna make bread. Uh, because that seems most appropriate right now. I'm gonna use all my dough to make bread. Now I'll have a ton of bread. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, sister. Brother. Everyone. Bowl of sauerkraut if I used salt. I do not have salt. Is there anything else I can make? I'm making the bread so I can make sandwiches. I need sandwiches. It's, it's Lord's Day. And on Lord's Day, we pray. We pray to whatever deity we want to, really. It's just that kind of day. There is a body in this morgue. There's three bodies in this morgue. There's two of them sitting on top of each other. Oh, God. Put it in there. Uh, you're... You, you, I like you. I like you. I like you. You're gonna go on the ground. I'm gonna put you in the ground. I like you. You're a nice body. Body gonna be the best. You're gonna be the best body in town. Well, you're really not the best, the best body in town, but... I'm definitely gonna put you in the ground. Putting you in the ground. Enter corpse. Put corpse in ground. Then I'll put shit on top of it. But now I got a body in the ground and it's gonna look beautiful. Beautiful. Best, most beautiful body that I've ever seen in my entire life. You're down to 70%. How you doing, pal? How you doing? Hey, you can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna extract your flesh. I'm gonna make you tasty. Make you into make you into meat. Oh, I've already extracted your meat. Eh. I don't I don't need you on my table anymore. Get out of here. Get out of my table. I'll put you in the water. Get get out of here. 
Get here, I don't want you. You're of no use to me. Get. Get. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, body. Bye bye, body. Body on a Sunday afternoon. Nobody watched me except for you. Keep your mouth shut. Or I'll get you. What other materials am I missing? I require simple iron parts, which I don't currently have in my inventory. I am going to go back to Sweet Home real quick. Uh, I'm going to grab um, the simple iron parts. Oh, I only have one simple iron part. Look at that. Huh, okay. Well, let's make a couple couple more simple iron parts. I might need I might need six total, so let's just let's do one more just for good measure. Oh! Oh, I'm out of uh, I'm out of energy. I need to I need to go in here and Can I eat bread? Uh, can I eat bread? Totally can. There we go. I'll just take one piece of bread and I'll eat that. That'll give me just enough energy to complete this. Make it to church on time. Have a wonderful, wonderful service. It is going to be absolutely astounding. You're going to be completely enthralled with the amount of faith that you will feel. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. And this, this, this dude, this dude of mine, wooden church shrine, yeah, it's going to go all the way at the top. Can I, do I have to put that in any particular location or? Oh, what the hell? Wait, where do I put this thing? Oh, what the? I don't have space for this thing. Oh, I can put it down here. Yeah, let, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get this sh out of here. Yeah, we don't need this. Remove. Oh, I gotta take it down first. Okay, I gotta dismantle it. Yeah, all right, all right. Got it. Got those simple iron parts. Gonna put that wooden church shrine over here. Do I have to erect that? Do I have to put effort into that? I gotta put effort into that. It's currently minus two. We're gonna make it work good. Uh, do I have enough? Do I have enough? Do I have enough? Okie dokie, that's plus seven. The church is at 20. I hope you haven't left yet. I want to tell you about my church. The church is looking good. Oh, the church is shining bright, your holiness. Ooh. It's nothing compared to the town cathedral, but for a church, it isn't half bad. <laughs> Just a couple of steps left, and then we get up to this church. Ooh. Um, but my, my graveyard's looking pretty good, right? Anyway, it's almost the end of the day. I have to go downstairs and grab my sermon. Grab my sermon. Ah, uh, give me the sermon. It's almost the end of the day. It's almost the end of Lord's Day. I'm running out of time. There's always time for a good sermon. Here we go. Select sermon. Oh, yeah. Livia beginning yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Baby. I'd like to say a few words and then swiftly interrupt myself and skip along. Nice, nice, nice. Let us pray. Pray for the blessing. The Lord. Ah! Nice. People are impressed. Ah, your donations are very welcome. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything, everybody. Do, 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 do. Yeah, give me your money. Your money is appreciated. Can I start praying? A prayer will be available again next Sunday. Day of the sun. Can I research faith? I don't think I've ever tried that. I feel like I definitely should be able to. Uh, I cannot. These all research for other things. Uh, put my faith in a chest. Because I will come back and... Research. I'm gonna wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. And then I'm gonna hit this city. And then I'm gonna make some wooden planks because I'm trying to upgrade my church. Bread. Make sandwich. Oh, need more bread for sandwich. But I can make three sandwich. Ah, there we go. I'll finish that sandwich in the morning. I'll finish making that sandwich in the morning. <laughs> Resting up my body was good. But it could be better. I could better prepare myself for the world with higher quality ingredients, like Dietz and Watson. I suppose if I had like, what's the brand? What's the brand of meat? Hillshire Farms? Hillshire Farms, go meat, yeah. If I had Hillshire Farms brand meat in my sandwich, I'm sure it'd be great. But nah, I ripped it out of dead bodies. 
But now it's completely empowered me for better things. Achievement unlocked, just red points. I do have a lot of red points. I do have a mighty, mighty amount of red points. I could get more green points too. I do collect a lot of green points. Blue points, blue points. I suffer with blue points. I do, I do, I do. Oh, out of energy. Gotta eat some sandwiches. One, two, three, four. Hey, yo. Nice. I got work to do. My apologies about the, the snorting sounds. As I described the before, the something about the chemical properties of sour things kind of make... It coalesces with my acid reflux problems. I apologize. Can't really... Can't really stop it. There's no, there's no pretty way to take care of it. And for that, I apologize. If anybody has a better solution, I am all ears. I'm all ears. I put that thing in the ground. I'm gonna put a nice little thing on top of it. A nice little uh, grave fence and adds two to a grave. That's eh, fine. That'll be fine. That'll be okay. It's fine. It's great. It's lovely. Put those two on top of it. Put a little grave fence on it. Uh, actually, that's not gonna work for this guy. Currently, you're at negative one. Oh, actually, this will work. Yeah, gravestone. There we go. Wooden cross. Oh, beautiful. We've got 19 points now. I need to grade my graveyard up to 30 for my next piece of approval. Now, I'm going to go downstairs and do some research. Oh, actually, I'm going to set up the other pieces of my church with... Uh, I don't need another church shrine. Or now I feel like I should need a church shrine. How big is a confessional? Oh, that's a big one. Uh, yeah, that's going over there. Excuse me. That's definitely going over there. I got a shrine on one side. And, um, confessional on the other. I suppose if I can upgrade my church, I'd have more space. So I must have a way, there must be a way to eventually upgrade your church. Like the actual space that you have. There must be. Confessional. Well, now I have too many pieces of wood. Can you really have too many pieces of wood? I, I don't know about that. I don't know if you really can have too much wood in your life. If there's such a thing as too much wood in your life, I want to see it. I want to see it happen. Can I pray in here? There is no one to make a confession. What about this? Can I interact with this? I cannot. And eventually I'll be able to unlock Candelabra level 2. But I don't yet have Candelabra level 2. I don't have enough faith for that. And honestly, I don't think there's a need for that right now. Although eventually there will be. Take all this shit out of here. Take all the skulls. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And then eventually I'll figure out what to do with these things. I'm guessing... I'm guessing that I'll be able to, like, decompose these parts into other things. Makes sense. But I just... I don't know yet. I have six pieces of faith, and I think that should be just enough to study all this stuff. Oh, but I need... I need science. And for that, I need to study these notes over here, right? All uh, right. Can we decompose on a study table? Uh, yeah. Let's take those notes, and uh, I'll decompose them for science points. It'll give me four. There we go. Now I got plenty of this stuff. Blood! Let's study. I've completed the study of blood. Wonderful. Don't know what else I can do with that. Brain! The brain! Oh, that requires three faith. Wow. That can be composed in it. Fluid? What? Oh my god, I got so much faith points for that. Holy shit! Wow! Intestines! Oh, that requires three. Um, the heart? That requires three. Okay. What about the flesh? That requires one. Yeah, let's study the flesh. Flesh and blood. I can not decompose that. That seems appropriate. Holy crap, I can decompose... The, the brain? What? What can I decompose it into? Oh, life solution. Oh, okay. That... That seems right. Okay. So I can get life solution from... Flowers in the brain. Nice. Completed study of the blood. Keep that in there. Completed study of meat. I can keep that with me. The skull. How much energy does it take to study... The skull. Only one. What can I find in the skull? I bet I can pulverize that. I can definitely do something with the skull. 
Nope, cannot be decomposed. Interesting. But I have all these faith points now. Holy crap. That's a lot of faith. Dude, I've gotta have faith. I gotta have faith. I gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. I gotta have faith. Actually, it's not faith. It's not faith. I forgot. It's blue points. I would consider them the faith point, the spiritual points, I suppose. But I guess some would disagree with me. And I'll take some of the flesh back with me. Wow, what kind of technology can I research now? Oh, man. There's a world of possibilities. I can get carved gravestones that give a whole hell of a lot of wonder to my graveyard. Which is kind of a priority right now, but like, what else is there? The Gentle Butcher. Uh, you know how to work with meat. Have a less chance of making surgical errors. I don't know what hard spares or soft spares are. So I'm not worried about that yet. Embalming. I can create mortuary racks. Uh, prayer for repose. Uh, sermon money, I get I get that. Uh, the important parts, anatomy two. Preparation place two? Second chance, what is this? A resurrection table? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I want zombies. That's That sounds, that sounds great. And zombie logistics, let's go with it. Zombies, zombie baby. All right, that'll be great. Um, I also want advanced alchemy. Um, and I want to get into, uh, mixology. So we're gonna look into, uh, oh, I already did brewing and digestion. Uh, wine making, because I need to start making wine. Strong alcohol, hell yeah, let's go into it. We can make booze. It's all about the alky walky now, folks. Or at least it can be. Um, farming, what do we get? Uh, a farmer, that's, that's a perk that I feel like would be necessary. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Simple fertilizers, boost in quality. Um, I can get quality ingredients. Uh, bee friend, bee domestication, advanced smelting, glass blowing. Um, advancing to glass blowing too, and potential other types of thing. I don't know. Ah, baby! Should I get both? Maybe I can get both. Ceramic crafting doesn't seem important. Uh, assembly stands, carpenter workbench too, jointing. I have not found any recipes for that yet, so I'm not worried about it. Um, I'm gonna go with these two. Smelting and glass blower. Yeah, all right, cool. Eventually I'll be able to make steel parts. I don't yet know how to make steel, so. Man, what a collection of research that we've gotten so far. That's great. I know down here, actually I remember down here, I can build all of the things that I would need for fermenting. So, yeah, you know what? Let's pivot to alcohol. It's a topic of conversation. Popular among some, some not so popular among others. I need a collection of different things. I need a bunch of flitches. I need a bunch of stone. I need some nails, complex iron parts for an alcohol distiller, stone, flitches, and various metal parts. So let's let's go do that. Let's make some of that. Ha, <laughs> bread, man. Bread. Stone, 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 stone. Make some flitches. Let's make like. I don't know. Let's take all this wood and make them into flitches. I don't know. Could always use more flitches. Oh, I don't got enough energy. But I got I got sandwiches for days, so let's let's keep going with it. Keep on working our way, working our magic. I know I need at least four more complex iron parts, so I'm gonna add that to my queue of things. Complex iron parts. Let's go with that. Uh, and I also need... I think I need simple iron parts, too. I need nails, uh, but I think I have some nails in my little thing over here. Yeah, I do. Got some of that. I got some stone as well. I want more... more nails. More, more nails. Let's do... 24 nails. That sounds fine to me. And I need to eat a sandwich. Yum, 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 yum. And I'm apparently getting tired. Like... I don't exactly know what happens if I work myself to the point where I pass out. Never tried it. I got metal scrap in my inventory. No need for that. Put that into here. Oh, that's because I broke shit apart. Yeah, let's make some of that. Let's make some of that. That'll queue that up. And... What else did I need for the basement? Or Was there anything I can build so far? What's what I've got? I can make the wine-making barrel. Uh, I need more stone. Uh, but I do need- I do want at least one wine-making barrel. Uh, where to put it? I want to put the barrels in one of these locations over here. Actually, uh, the barrels probably fit down here. So I'll put a barrel down here. Let's put 
Uh, fermentation barrel uh, over next to this guy. Nice. Uh, I need more stone. Uh, I don't need to make a trunk. I already have a trunk of stuff. Um, I got the fermentation barrel. I need the brewing stand. I need stone for that. The vine press. I need stone for that. Uh, I need more simple iron parts. Uh, and I need more complex iron parts, too. I need eight more... Let's see, I use four for this. Then I'll have four. I need four more. Four more complex iron parts. And a bunch more stone. So, I'll put that on my radar of things to worry about. Four more complex iron... Or one more piece of simple iron parts. Then two more pieces of complex iron parts. Then I've got stone that I'll make up in the quarry. Ah, I was so close. Uh, eat some bread. Yum, yum, yum. And then I'll, I'll teleport my way up to the quarry and work on grabbing some stone in the morning after I give myself a rest. Ba-ba. I'm so refreshed. I'm a refreshed boy. I could take a uh, stone and make it into stuff. I have two iron stockpiles. Uh, do I need to have... I'll, I'll make a stone stockpile. I don't actually have any of that yet. Because I gotta have a place to put my stone at so I can store it for later. And actually, I don't need more than one iron... Uh, store pile, so let's just let's just knock this down and grab some parts, you know? You good, pal? Pal, do you do you really wanna do you wanna fight? Wanna fight me? Stop, what are you what are you doing? Just just yeah, just take it apart. Dude, chill. Chill out there, gravekeeper. Oh, I got some flitches, look at that. Stone tox pile. Uh stone stock pile. Uh <laughs> put that down here. I got wood up here too, apparently. Look at that. Oh, come on. Put it in the pile. Put in the pile. Put in the pile. Put uh, uh, in the pile. Uh, the pile. The pile. I put it in the, in the pile. Yeah. Piece of stone. Yeah. All right. I can make some pieces of stone from that. How many pieces of stone? I'm about to get 24. I think I need more. But for that, I know I'll need wooden wedges. For that, I'm going to head back over to the other place. Grab some wedges. Bring them up here. Unless I have wedges in this chest already, which I might. I got wedges in here? I do not. So let's go back to Sweet Home. Sweet Home, Alabama. Uh, I don't have a lot of wedges. I'll keep the wedges up there. I need to make wedges how? How do I make wedges? I make wedges from billets. I don't have any wood in my stockpile. Corrected. Make some billets. Make some wedges. Make four Ouija's, then I can get more stone. And it's all about working that body. Working that body hard. And make more sandwiches. And then to get more sandwiches, I need more meats. Need more meat from the bodies. And go back up to the quarry. Go over here. Go grab some more stone from up here. Using wedges to facilitate that. Ah, uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's just let's get a bunch of stone. Let's get 10 pieces of stone. Yeah, really go for it. Awesome. Okay, I have to get the, yeah, out of the way. Okay, I need to push the stone out of the way. Interesting how smooth the wood just slides across the ground. Very smooth. Very impressive. All right, I think that'll be enough stone for now. I'm gonna bring that down here. Put them in my pile. Put them in my pile. Also put it in my pile. Down, down, down we go. Put it in the pile. I like that little ditty. That was sweet. I like that. Get all these pieces of stone into just actual pieces of stone. As much stone as I can get for the big pieces of stone that I've already uh, prepared for the pile. Oh, I'm out of energy. Uh, yeah, I think that's where I'll leave that. Back to sweet home. Got all this bread. I can't make any more sandwiches. I gotta put my meat in here. I gotta put my dough in here. What else can I 
Yeats. What else can I create that I can consume? I don't have onions for a burger. Oh, I need to make raw sliced meat. Oh, I have no energy. Lol. Guess I'll have to wait for that. But first I'll go to my basement to queue up some construction for the next day. We'll put a alcohol distiller, big guy, big mamma jamma over here. And then we'll put a brewing stand, uh, yeah, 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 right down below it, I guess. I mean, I, they don't need to be, I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Let's put it here. There we go. I've got all my, uh, alcohol paraphernalia. <laughs> Just like real life. I got all, I got all kinds of alcohol paraphernalia. It's a mixological thing. Been mixing things since a young age. I like it. It's a fun time. Gotta drink some water, too. Delightful, delightful cocktails. Gotta love them. Or you don't gotta. What am I saying? You don't gotta love it. Put it in there. I got bread. Bread in there. Uh, I've got some things that I can sell to the shopkeep. I should probably take care of that. I can put all my parts back in this thing over here. Wooden plank we could put in there, the firewood put in there, flitch put in there, wedge put in there, bowls. I have bowls now. And now I want to go into the basement in order to actually construct these objects. Oh. That'll be what we do. That'll be what we do. It's what we got. It's what we get done over here. And once I have that all squared away, I guess I'll be able to begin fermenting things. That's cool. I didn't know that there was an aspect to this game. It's certainly like, I, I think I like the brewing system in this game more so than I do in Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley was a little too easy. You just kind of get a machine and you throw it in there and that's it. Actually, I don't even know what the process is like. I can create red wine from uh, piles of grape juice, which are crafted at the vine, uh, the vine press. The vine press is this thing. That's a fermentation barrel. This is a brewing stand. This is the alcohol distiller. I never made the vine press, did I? I did not make the vine press. I made the fermentation, the brewing stand, the alcohol distiller. I did not make the vine press. Or did I? Is that over in the corner somewhere? There are four objects here. And I should have five. Yep, okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, I gotta I gotta get 12 flitches, four complex iron parts, and 10 pieces of stone. That's for my vine, my vine press. But I need to grow grapes first. Uh, complex iron parts. Give me that. Uh, I need 10 pieces of stone. I have no pieces of stone left. Look at that. Okay. Um, I need flitches. I needed 12 flitches. I don't have enough flitches for that. I need to go grab wood. I gotta grab wood. Uh, I'd rather just chop down this tree over here. As opposed to going down to where I know there is already wood. I'd much rather do that instead. This is an easy... Easy piece of wood. Easy, easy wood. Easy wood. Morning, wake up. Easy wood. Evening, go to sleep. Easy wood. Easy wood. Wood billets. Uh, flitches. I want 12 of them. So I'll do that. Oi. So I think what I'm going to do with the rest of my evening is I am going to figure out what comes next for alcohol and consumption and stuff of the sorts and then i need more stone i gotta go back up to the thing and then uh yeah i think i'll call it for uh this week uh and then we'll obviously we'll be back next week naturally uh i just want to figure out i'm really happy that we got to like we're on we're on the cusp we are on the cusp of uh oh i put stuff in the trunk we're on the cusp of alcohol we're on the, the cusp of cocktail mixology perhaps i don't know i don't know if there is mixology in this game that'd be pretty freaking cool i love that stuff that'd be super cool actually i'd be totally into that i have a feeling i'm gonna run out of energy before i have a chance to make any more of this oh i'm so close there must be consumables around here somewhere that i can kind of forge up give myself some energy for Ooh. You know, this forest doesn't have much... Doesn't have many things that I can eat. It's okay. I can teleport back to Sweet Home and grab myself some beets, I think. I think beets are really good for you. Yeah, they give you energy. 
I wish I, I wish I knew what else to make with beets, but just don't got it. Yeah, I, I don't got it, unfortunately. Waiting for the rest of my bread to be good. Uh, teleport waystone is still happening. Let's eat some beets. Mmm, beets. Oh wow, I completely filled myself up. Nice. How's my drink, by the way? Dude, I made the fog cutter. Very tasty drink. Uh, it's 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 balanced on sweetness. It's balanced on alcohol. It's balanced on sourness. Oh, it's great. Um, when things come up later, I implore you watch through that. We spent the first we spent the first thirty five minutes just me fooling around and making this drink specifically. It took thirty five minutes to make this drink, and more time to actually prep uh, pre um, prepare it. I prepared orjo and honey syrup. Uh, while I was making dinner. It was, uh, re rewarding. Very, very rewarding. I would... I am happy. Happy with the way this turned out. It's called the fog cutter for, for context. And, uh, it cuts through the fog. It cuts through the haze. It's, it's very, very good. I don't know. I, I'm not sure how into sourness you are, Meatball Girl. Uh, but if you're into sour, then it might be up your alley. Um, it's like, it's, but it's not a, a very potent sour. Sounds like a legendary blade. Fog cutter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. It does have that vibe to it. Like the Zephyr. The sword of the Zephyr. I like sour. You like sour? You like the sour? You like the sour, don't you? Yes, you do. Like the shower. Like the sour. Like the sour, like the shower. You shower in the sour? Engulf yourself in the sour. Or don't. Honestly, totally your choice. It honestly w couldn't put it past me. I am running out of... Oh, dear. Okay, I've run out of some seeds. I guess I'm gonna have to go pick up some seeds. Wheat seeds. Keep the carrots and all that stuff over here. Keep the hemp over here. Don't need none of that. Keep the maggots over here. Still don't know what to do with maggots. I have flyers. <laughs> I need more quarry stones. So I gotta go back to the quarry. Spend my energy to collect the rest of the stone. Wipe my hands. I love how, in order to crack an entire stone thing, I wipe my hands on the table. That's the motion that my character makes. And I'm like... Wait! Can't use my teleport stone just yet. I guess what I could do is I could take some of this wood back with me. I'll just walk back. I don't want to do that. That sounds annoying. I don't want to do it. Oh, wait. Teleport stone. Sweet home. There we go. Put it in the basement. Wine press. There we go. Vine press. Put it in there. Put it in there, man. Yeah, I'll put that over here. It's got space. Yeah, and I'll build that up. And uh, I guess we'll see what the ingredients are for, cock uh, for cocktails. Or not cocktails. Beer and wine and booze. Cocktails would come after, I think. But Okay. I can make apple juice, berry juice, and grape juice of varying different quantities. I can also create seed oil and just regular oil from fat. I finally have a use for fat. Nice. That's good. I can create booze from various different types of alcohols. Apple ferment, berry ferment, red wine, red wine, red wine. All different types. And I would need to fuel it, naturally. Uh, a mug of beer is made using... Wheat, hops, and water. Classy. Gotta have those hops. I can make berry ferment from pails, uh, if I let it ferment. But in order to create wine, red wine, you take the berries from that. In order to create the berries, I need grape. I need grape seeds. I, I need to start growing grapes. I don't have grape seed right now. Um, let's look into that. I actually don't know where to get grape seed. I guess I'll make my way into town. Uh, it's actually, it's nighttime right now, so I guess I'll expend the rest of the night figuring out, um, I'll go to my, I'll go to my morgue, actually. I'll go over there and see what kind of goodies I can pull from the bodies. But I also need to, um, replenish. I need to replenish the carrots that I have for my, uh, my donkey friend. I only want 10 carrots. Only want 10 carrots. There we go. 
I'll replenish all the carrots. I'll go in. It'll be great, wonderful, and absolutely exquisite. Farming is all the rage these days, you know, folks? So farm. I only got one body in here. Oh, do I really? Oh, I'm currently trying to extract this from it. Meat. I'd also like to extract some fat, if you don't mind. I have a use for that now. I can use pieces of the body and make oil. Pressurize it. Your body ain't looking super duper hot. But actually... I'll take it so bad. So I'm gonna take you... And I'm gonna put you into my graveyard. Not bad. Not a bad body, if I do say so myself. Not a bad body at all. Put it in there. Now, currently, I could use some more... I could use some better stuff. To be perfectly honest. I could use a better... Oh, I do have a gravestone here. Adds two to the grave. Adds one to the grave. That'll make it even. And honestly, that's all the effort that I can put into that right now. When I get more stone, I will upgrade all of these. But for now, this is all I have to do. It'll at least make me uh, not negative. So, it's an improvement nonetheless. More bodies is good. We're in a quality of 21 now. That's perfect. Uh, and if I just fill in that grave over there, we've already got a quantity of it. At the very least, 22. Or 23. E-E. What work can I do for the rest of the evening? I'm gonna go into town. I'm gonna take a look and see how I can procure grape seeds, if I can procure grape seeds like this. And then I think I'll call it for the evening. I'm getting a little tired. It was a it was a mentally challenging day today. So I'll admit, my my brain needs a little bit of a rest. It was a, it was hot. Lots of things happening. At work and whatnot. But uh, rewarding. Rewarding nonetheless. I feel like if my mind isn't occupied during a significant portion of the day, it's not very rewarding. But it's good. It's good. Also, I need to clean up my desk. There's... I gotta use my coaster. I have coasters on my desk, and I didn't use them. And now there's water all over my desk. Whatever. Onward to the dead horse. I got shit that I want to sell to you up there. Pirate? Bad luck. Okay. What's up, buddy? Sell all my burial certificates. Wonderful. Can I buy seeds from you? I can buy red wine from you. I suppose I could have. I could have just bought this. Let's see. Who want who wants wine? Who wants who wants wine? Uh I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna cancel my offer for now. Who wants wine? The muse down there wants wine, right? Wagner, trade a bottle of wine for a story. Yep, and so does Jerry. Jerry also wants a bottle of wine. Am that right, buddy? Where's Jerry on here? Where's my bouncing skull friend? Get a bottle of wine! Yes, I'm just gonna buy. I'm at level two with these guys now, so I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna sell my burial certificates, all of them, in exchange for some wine and some coin. I get... I cheap wine. It's really not that much of a difference, but I'll buy two. I'll buy two for a comparison. Finish that offer. All right. I'll talk to this guy down here who wants wine. Oh, we need Silver Star wine. Uh, okay. Can I sell that back to you then? Trade. Can I sell that back? Uh, I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the top quality wine. Finish. There we go. I wasted a little bit, but it's fine. Ask for a story. Good wine is my friend. Here's a story. I'll give you a story. Ask for a story. Good wine is my friend. Here's a story. Oh. Oh, I could just... That's it? Oh, well, I didn't want to do that. That was a waste of money. I could just make stories on my own. Eh. Eh. Whatever. What kind of wine does Jerry want? Son of a gun. I did not realize that. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. I did not realize I was trading with him a second bottle of wine. Jerry, what do you want? What kind of wine do you want? You want Silver Star? We'll get you Silver Star. See you later, my friend. Indeed, indeed. Um, teleport Waystone is almost ready. And then I'll buy another silver bottle of wine. Much rather make it on my own. But we're trying to make progress over here. So I'll skill pass. Um, 
so fat actually goes down here into my storage grid down here because I can use the fat for for oil oil has its benefits I can make chopped meat up there raw sliced meat slice that meat put that in container put the bread in here I, I have green slime in there can I make jelly can't I make jelly I could have sworn I could make jelly. Green jelly and honey. Ah, uh, I see. Well, I'd rather use berries and berry juice, but I need some apples and stuff for that. Back to the dead horse. So I can buy yet another bottle of wine. Trade. Get a bottle of wine. This time's for Jerry. Oh my god, it's more expensive. The more wine I buy, the more expensive it becomes. That's ludicrous. I hate capitalism. Jeez. I'm all for with my donkey friend, who I'm pretty sure is an avid con uh, communist. Or a Marxist, or I, I don't know what he does, but... That's great. Love that better. Okay. Time to make my way back to my barn. Back to my morgue. I need to figure out where my shortcut is. I keep forgetting where the hell my shortcut is. To get back. I don't know. Actually, you know, while I'm over here in town... Let me talk to the farmer, being that it's still day, and see if I can buy some grape seeds for him. From him. Um, that would be most interesting. It would be most advantageous. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Advantageous. Can I come through here and talk to this? I yes, I can. Wow, I didn't realize I could go through there. Huh. Learned something new today. <gasps> A new body! Nice. Trade. Um, I gotta buy more seeds from you first. Oh, well, let's, um... Oh, I could also sell my crops to you, too. Here, take all my beets. And all my cabbage. Because uh, I have a lot of cabbage. And honestly, I'm making better food, so. And I'll buy um, at least... I think I'm running low on carrot seeds. So let's buy eight of those. I think I'm running low on beet seeds. I'll buy all of them. Uh, let's buy some wheat seed, I guess. And cabbage seed, I guess. That should be good. Uh, finish the offer. We're almost up to the top level. Um, I don't know. I can also buy crop waste from you, too. So let's just buy all the crop waste you have. And hopefully that'll get us up to level two. Hopefully. Yeah, it's fine. Eh, it didn't really do much. So I gotta keep buying more seeds from you. Eventually. How are you doing, uh, farmer's son? Oh, I gotta finish my chores. And my dad will be terrifyingly angry. Ugh. What a guy. Go back to sweet home. Go down here. We got a fresh... We got a fresh body in town. Got a fresh body in my morgue. Put some crop waste in there. Put some crop waste in there. Put some crop waste in there. All the different types of composting. Put some wheat seeds. And I think carrot seeds too. Yep. That's where... Those were the ones. Let's make some more... Let's make some more empty garden beds too. Might as well, right? Uh, let's just put them in the middle. One. Let's put them there. Put them there. Let's fill up the entirety of this area over here. I will eventually come back and we'll make them all very, very pretty. But for now, not so much. Put the rest of the seeds over in there. Put my peat in there. We'll put my crop waste in there. All my seeds, all my seeds, all my seeds, and my maggots. Now, I'll go to the morgue. Say hello to Jerry. Actually, I'm going to collect some berries, too. Cause now I realize the I can make I can make good stuff with that. Make good stuff with the berries. <laughs> gotta love me some berries. Gotta gotta love them. Gotta love some berries. Gotta love his berries. Berries, 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 berries. All right, pal. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Three and a whole hell of a lot in loving. I like that. I really like that. I. I'd like to extract some fat from you, if that's okay. I'm not sure if that's going to make you angry or not. And not so... Oh, actually. Extracting the fat from you made you less red. Can I extract the flesh from you? And also lower your harmfulness? Interesting. If I extract this... If I the more that I extract from you to become less evil, 
I never actually noticed that until now. Okay, you became more evil when putting the skin on there. So I'd like to put the skin back. Now you're back to normal. If I take the blood from you, are you more better? Wow, okay. What if I take your bones? I am learning something. Okay, bone, bone, we put back. Put, put back bone. This is interesting. Oh, no, you're back to that again. Ah, shucks. Well, that's... That's cool. I didn't realize you could do that. Oh, okay. Well, this body's totally... I'm totally doing something with this body. But first, Jerry, here's some wine. I don't have any sense of taste, but I can tell it's lacking in alcohol. Sorry, I'm gonna get all depressed now. Is that... See you later. Was that really it? Oh. Well, you're welcome. I, I guess. I Lacking in alcohol? Yeah, what do you want? Booze? Get booze. I'll make booze for you. It'll be great. It'll be the best booze you've ever down tasted. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. Great booze. Put this in the ground. Can I put you in the ground? Into the corpse. And then I'll take care of you eventually. I've got more burial certificates. I still have yet to come across grapes. I'm trying to figure out grapes. Uh, I want to get into cocktails. Or at least booze in this game. But I'm not there yet. But honestly, this feels like a pretty good stopping point for me. So I'm going to wrap things up here. I'm going to put some wood in the wood pile. Got to have some fresh wood for next time. Otherwise, it'll be all sour. The wood will be sour. And maybe I can cook up some of this wood, uh, this uh, this meat too. Yeah, the bread's all done. So let's cook up some meat. Baked meat. Put it in there. Put the dough in the container. Uh, slice up some meat. Slice up some meat. Oh, yeah. Slice up some meat. Put that meat into the container. I don't know what to do with blood. I got all this other shit. Bread. Berries. Wheats. I love it. That's all that I've got, everybody. I like this game. I like this game. I like you. I like... I like all this. Beautiful, beautiful time. But I gotta, I gotta end things here, folks. And then we'll hopefully be back. Hopefully be back. We'll be back next week. It's a thing. It's a thing that we do. Thank you, everybody. I very much enjoyed your presence. I hope you very much enjoyed mine. I hope you all enjoy the presences of each other. And if you didn't, I'm very sorry about that. If you have any suggestions, you're always free to DM me. We got a Discord server. You can DM me on Discord. I don't care. DM me on Twitter. It's all in there. I just like the conversation. I think my favorite part of the streams are the conversations. But, like, the conversation doesn't just happen to have to happen during stream either. It can happen literally any time. If you feel so inclined, I'm so inclined, let's keep the conversation going. If you're so inclined to, there's absolutely no problem there. But until next time, that's all I got, folks. I love y'all. Thanks so much for partying along. And I hope your night, or evening, or dawn, or whatever it is. Maybe this, this bell is their wake-up bell. Maybe it's, like, 8 a.m. for you. And if that's the case, perfect. We made a cocktail in this video, too, so check that out. Comments down below. Comments? Description? Whatever. I can't believe I'm even saying that. Before I dig myself into this rabbit hole any deeper, that's it, everybody. Cheers. Have a wonderful one. Party on, y'all!